What's up, everyone? Welcome to Hard Truths and Reviews HDR. We have technical difficulties going on right now, and uh, so I figured I'll just I'll stall, come on, and just shoot the shit until uh, we get everything situated with the connections and everything. Because most people are probably thinking, like, ah, Loomis is late. No, I'm here, but these things happen. So once everyone comes in, we'll uh, go over and uh, bring them on. But I hope everyone had a great week. Uh, I just woke up, just exhausted, but uh, it's great though to be here. We have a good show tonight. As long as we get everything working, we have a great show tonight. But um, and if we don't, I'm sure we'll still stay on and shoot the shit at least for an hour, hour and a half with Gooch or something. But um, because Frank's having trouble getting in, so we shall see. Also, guys, anyone new here, please subscribe to the show. Please like this to get it moving for us. And while we're waiting, in the meantime, I'm just going to look and see who's in here and say what's up to some people. It's like the first time in my life. Like, like I, I'm not, like I'm not the fucking reason. I'm not late. <laughs> no one was late. It's just uh, feels good that I'm actually here. <laughs> I'm laughing at uh, that. <laughs> Mob King and if what's up, Frankie? How you doing, my man? Good to see you. Good to see you. As always, BX Bricklayer, Nikki Kinetta, Nikki. I'm sorry, Nikki the Wig. I was watching you guys all week. Little clips of you guys, fantastic. Love it, Don. Love it. Thank you guys for being here. Appreciate it as always. Working on some technical difficulties. Ghost, what's up, my man? Great seeing you as always. OG Rube, what's going on? Great seeing you as well. Let's see. Dave T from Boston Labe. What's up, Dave? Hey, I hope everyone knows has a happy Easter. And um enjoy that. Um, look at, see, see, so he said Loom is sleeping because there's like, because I, because we were late, like coming in on this, but look at, I'm all punctual today. Come on, ghost. But, uh, great seeing you too, Dave from Boston. And yes, please don't forget to press like, subscribe. Appreciate that. Ro, what's up? There she is. Great seeing you. And I'm uh, just waiting for Mike uh, and then figure it out. I'll bring them in. So in the meantime, let's see something. Well, I'll definitely tell him what he's on, but look at his shirt. I just actually got it. Uh, was it today? Yesterday from Mike. The Tom Messino brothers illegal pawn shop. And look, I even have the stories up right here. Here's the guy. But uh, thank you, Mike, for this shirt. Houston's judge. I'll never be able to read that, though. But something I believe is Pops and uh, Gramped over involved, though, with. My man. Yeah, Ghost, I love this shirt. What's up, Joe Town? What's going on? I'm trying to think talk. If I was just doing a show on my own right now, what would I talk about? Uh, I don't know. How's everyone's week? You guys just talked to me. The show's definitely going to be going on. It, it's rocking. You know how usually I'm always late all, all the time and we get it rocking. So these things do happen. And it's not even, it has nothing to do with anyone being late, though. It's just the connection isn't working. It has happened with a couple guests before. Pete, what is up? 
Royal Ruby Loomis, Mike Ghost, Joe Town. All right, yeah, I kind of wanted to read that and make sure I got everyone before. Great seeing you, Pete, as always. As always. Ghost, Lulu, what's up, Lulu? Thanks for being here. Bob Beetle. Hey, hi, what's up? What's up, Bob Beetle? Uh, just waiting on uh, our technical difficulties to uh, be fixed so we can get on with the show. Um, but I figured out to come on and uh, just shoot the shit with you in the meantime because uh, it was at uh, we have nine oh five was the start. So our apologies. Much love, Nikki. Nikki, big Don. Salute. See, I don't drink now anymore because I can't because I don't know how to behave when I drink and do the party stuff, you know. But uh, the, this is like my Saturday night, uh, whatever. And I, I love them. The, the imports, though, not the, not the. Uh, you know, yeah, we talked about this earlier. If anyone was on the live, oh. very different. Not waiting on Loomis this time. I am <laughs> this is very different. Not waiting on Loomis this time. I am shocked. Maybe Loomis paid them off. <laughs> it goes, I you probably definitely are shocked, but hold on a second. Always me, always. Guys, I will be, give me a second, I'll be right back. back you know what i was just talking mike will be on in a bit though but we are not gonna bring on no uh if for the meantime the man he's been on before you know his name gucci boom let's bring him in real quick and hopefully could you hear me gooch i got you you got me yeah good Michael good, good. So i just talked to him though yeah we got you yeah you sound much got... better could you hear me this time yeah i got you i got you yeah i think i rebooted we good we're good on my end that's so you know, up. Frank. I think Frank's having technical difficulties a little bit. That's what I was Hopefully saying. Hopefully, he can get him back on. Yeah. Um, he told me when when he was off, he says he hasn't been out long enough to understand fucking technology. You know, so that was his issue. But uh, oh, really? Yeah, that's true. Okay. How long? And long he's he's kind of like, uh, you know, I, I think really recently. I can't give you a specific date, but he hasn't been out that long. You're not been out that long. He's he's like it's brand, he's like a you know it's brand new to him, and uh, I if so cut, cutting and pacing is whatever. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. You know what you got to do? He's just, that's what it is. He has to know to copy and paste. So you have he has to copy it and put it in that Google Paste thing, and it'll bring him right in. Yeah, and that that was his problem. He didn't know how to do that, so we we told him, but he but he got frustrated with it. You know, is Mike with him? Uh, yeah, I think Mike's talking to him. Yeah, so Mike said just okay. just hop on, bring Gucci not, on. I'll have a suggestion. Oh, let me get those names up though. Too, really All right. Okay. All right. Let me show display. We'll names. try it. doesn't work, I have a suggestion. Well, hello everybody. What's up, everybody? Gucci Boom and Alice. If you don't, if you're not subscribed to Gucci yet, he's over here on you in YouTube land as well. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to make my my debut on YouTube. Trying to put up some shorts up there. Seem like they're working. But I'm still on TikTok. TikTok's not going anywhere, you know. I don't believe it's going to go anywhere. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna hang out there too for a while. Yeah, you think it's not going to go? You think it's there? No, to I don't stay? think it's going to go. That's not going to go. What are they going to do? You know, there's a lot of businesses tied up in that shit. You know, a lot of American businesses. I think it's just a, it's a, a political power play. You know, it's, it's, it's the thing of the day. You know, it's the distraction of the day. You know, fucking get rid of TikTok, right? You know how many people? How many Americans make a lot of money on TikTok? 
the fuck they're gonna do? Stiff them? No, they're not gonna do that. Yeah, but they could know. I mean, they they could in a way because YouTube will stiff. You could be making whatever with them. You could wake up one day, boom, done. Like they could just take you out. Like yeah, that. no, so, I hear you. But what I'm saying about the but, 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 but the whole thing, you know. Yeah, the millions of users in in um, in uh, they're not they're not gonna flush the to flush the uh, American users down the toilet. I don't think. I mean, that's my look at it. But you know. We'll, we'll, we'll see what happens. Was, yeah, I heard there was talks of it, like that they might get rid of it and stuff. And there was uh, what? Yeah, yeah. There, there was talks that they might get rid of it or something. I heard that a while ago. So, but who knows? I don't see why. At this yeah, point, so, any, at this you point, know what works anyway. on what seems to work on YouTube is is uh, the little I look, I do these little mini shorts. They seem to work. Um, but you know it's a hit or miss out there too. So I'm just beginning. I'm like hey, a little baby on YouTube. What'd you say? What shorts are you doing? I'm doing like many. I call them micro interviews. I ask, you know, ask some people that have done things like rob banks and done some bullshit. I ask them one question, you know, and that's it. Mm -hmm. It's like a 40 second interview. And that that's seemed great. to get a lot of hits, you know. Oh, you listen, man. YouTube's tough. Subscribers are tough. Like YouTube's, it is. It's way different than over at TikTok. Way different. You know, the, like, you know, because everyone who likes one of your videos doesn't mean that they're going to subscribe. We're at TikTok. Usually, a lot of people who like one of your videos, they all start following you. You know. Yeah, 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 yeah. Different over we, here. Different yeah. over here. You know what happened though? Um, one one of the biggest hits I had was one I did with Mike. I, I asked him. Uh, I you know I, I said Mike. So tell me tell me what you can use for self. You could use paper or self defense. So he did that rolled up paper thing again. Yeah, I saw it. Yeah, that yeah, got yeah. So, that got so many hits and so much so many comments. You know. Yeah. That was a good one. I love you. I love too though the little movie thing that you guys made. You remember I was telling you with the actors throwing the money and then yeah, like, yeah, like, yeah. We, we, did the oh, we did no, the whole thing. We did the whole thing. I yeah. love watching. I love watching the wig over there and Dom. And I always watch your videos. Yeah, yeah, what Dom. Dom and Nikki are great too. Nikki the wig. Nikki the wig. Oh, he's a man. I love legend to Nikki the wig. Here's here's the Nikki. Here's the Nikki the wig. I hope this isn't an insult to you, Nick. I just I can't drink anymore because I don't know how to behave, if you know what I mean. So, <laughs> <laughs> so I can't be doing that anymore. Well, I'm the same way, bro. So I'm I'm doing the propel. <laughs> oh yeah. You you, you don't drink gooch. Mm. I you know, I used to a long time ago, but I got into yeah. trouble. Yeah. Same. Drinking was not good for me. Nah, not because I liked it too much, you know. Exactly. Exactly. And, and you know, I couldn't say. I didn't know when to say uh, stop. <laughs> well, that was my problem. I just kept going until I hit the wall, you know. Yeah, right. And sometimes right. the wall was three days later, you know. So it's yeah, like, yeah. Well, and what the fuck happened? What happened to you? you know? Yeah, you're in those blackouts, brother. You know, those blackouts are not fun, especially when you get home, and then and you wake up in the morning. You want to know how the fuck you got home, you know? Sometimes and then you go you look drove. at the car. Huh? Yeah. Sometimes you're you're the one that ended up driving home blacked out. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Oh, and you go look for the you look yeah, the cars out front. There's no scratches to it, and it's like you know divine uh, intervention on that one. You know. Yeah, because it's like someone was guiding us or something out there though. Yeah. But I mean, the, a couple times for me, whoever the fuck was guiding me though, I got thrown out of the van once. I got, but I mean, when yeah, I, I got gotcha. you. <laughs> but I didn't hear her throwing nothing though. But it was probably like, hey, listen, fucking started. I uh, you know. It's a funny story. I got in a fight at this bar. It was like years ago. Uh, I was playing pool, and one of my my ex girlfriend or whatever was next. And I had my quarters on the table. You put tables for next. And the guy came over and he's nudged me, and I'm like, "Dude, I'm next." And he's like, "I own this place." And I was young, and I just I just went boom, cracked him, yeah. and he fell. So the whole place like, "Get him out of here!" But even the bartenders like, "He's too drunk to leave," because I was. But yeah. um. I went outside and my Astro van door wouldn't close. And I need Astro to van. <laughs> yeah, so I'm holding the door like this going up River Street. And I come around by this general hospital turn. I hit a pothole. I fucking fly out of the van. And the yeah. van goes rides into the parkade across the street from the hospital. Literally, I get up. I run. I get in the van reverse. Get the fuck out of there. And I got away. I cannot believe wow. it. Wow. Like Good luck. That was luck, man. That was, hey, that was, yeah, that was the divine day, intervention again. Still there. Yeah, yeah, I was working for Mattress Man and my grill was still there though. But uh divine intervention again. <laughs> yeah, right. That's fucked up. 
It makes you think, yeah, but we could have killed people, though, man. It's not cool. No, we could have killed people. But then there's those times where, you, you know, when you woke up and you couldn't find your car. You don't know where you, you didn't know where you oh, left yeah, it. That, that, yeah, that happened a lot, too. Yeah. 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 It's like, where the yeah, fuck's I'm my sorry. car? Who's got my car? Somebody stole my fucking car. Like your brain goes on autopilot or something, though, but with booze, it's so weird. Like, like you do not remember you driving home at all. But the no. car is there with no. no that's and that's pretty, happened. that's, yeah, that's pretty scary. <laughs> think about that one wrong little turn or you kill someone like that boom you're you're gone you're done that's right you know, so, you're locked so up many, like, i got duis but i was I, they were just from like hitting poles or like a little piece of a building i never hit anyone like as a human i used to run down hurt. i used to go down dorchester avenue about 90 miles an hour and clip the car you know that was so fucking narrow so the streets i used to clip the cars you know used to scrape up against them going down there we used to play this game it's almost like auto tag, right? Where we have five guys run around the, you know, in cars around Dorchester and trying to find each other. And if, and if you pull up behind somebody and flash the lights, you got caught. So you, you know, we were going around, and I'm, I'm just, I'm, I'm driving my sister's car, right? So I bring it home, and you know, the fucking side of that car was like blue, gray, yellow, and like all these stripes. And yeah, she got pissed off, man. So you know. And, yeah, uh, and, and that's stupidness, right? I could have killed somebody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But we don't think though. Young, dumb, full of cum and rum, you know? That's right. Young. I think there's, I think there's a song like that. <laughs> <laughs> Young, dumb, full of cum. And rum. But what was I going to say? Oh, I hope everyone, though, is having a great Easter holiday. Happy Easter to everyone out Happy there. Easter. Happy Easter. Happy Easter. Salute. Salute Easter. Salute. Salute. And we are uh, still technical difficulties. Uh, still waiting, though, on um, see if Frank's going to be able to come in. We'll see. Here's Dave from Boston. Dave, streets are tight with damn cars on both sides. Sucks. Yeah, for real. Yeah, that is for real. That's for real. The only time they clean that up is Dor Dorchester Day Parade, where they they you know either either uh, don't park there or you get your car towed. Cheers, my beetle. Cheers. But Betel, how you doing? Fuck well, Gooch. We might have to go back into, into your whole story if no if if uh if you can't come so, on. I, I was born uh <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, let me see. I'm just trying to look at Yeah, I think he he'll be all right. I mean I think Frank will get it. He's just a little bit a little bit uh I think if 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 um did you, did you guys did was he using his phone? What's that? Is he using his phone? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Did you guys tell him that he, all he does is press down with his thumb and the copy button will come up, and he just hits copy? Yeah, I think Mike's probably we told him that, but I think Mike's probably going ahead and telling that again. You know, I'm, I'm sure he's giving him. He's patient. Mike's patient. He really is. So if, if he can't do it, then it won't get done. If if Mike because Mike's pretty patient with that stuff. Yeah, you know, so I think we'll get him on board here. He'll come on and uh, see where we are. We can call, we can see if Carmine's out there. Bring Carmine back up, bring him on. <laughs> yeah, bring that. No, anyone come on. No, I mean, yeah, we'll talk to you, man. Don't matter. I just didn't know why, uh, you know, how you know how long this is going to be and how we should do it right now. Like, you know, how do you want to run it now? Just you know, shoot the shit and uh, or talk to uh. It's Luann, some chats. Salut. What's up, Luann? Luann, how you doing? Good to see you. Oh, Good to be seen, right? Cyber whack. Hold on. We got a cyber whack. Okay. Got your room. <laughs> cyber so whack. Get, yeah, that's like when someone fucks around and we have to get rid of them like cyberly. So we cyber whack them, you know? You cyber whack them. Yeah. I got you. <laughs> <laughs> they're like, can they can they come back on your show again at all, or are they just blocked? Oh, they I mean, they went just like just like Fredo. They went fishing and never, you know, they went fishing. No, are they done now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He's gone. Uh, He's sleeping with the fishes. What do you got going on for the holiday? Anything? Anything, Gooch? No, man. We just, you know, we went ahead and we fed the homeless today, man. That was a pretty. That was a pretty big trip because. Um, we put a lot of effort into it today, man. We've had, we've had a lot of people 
and we have to find them, you know, and it's not like we go to a certain place and they're all hanging out. We had to find them. And I almost got into a little, uh, you know, I went to the bad area of town, right? With my, I'm all packed up. I'm all, uh, I'm all strapped up. Right. So I'm in the bad area of town and I'm telling the guy, I got some food. I got some free food. He said, where is it? He said, it's in my caddy. It's right over here. He says, I ain't going over. You just bring it to me. I said, I ain't bringing it to fucking food to you. You just come to go over here. He said, no. And then he started, he started cursing or whatever. I said, you know, just chill out. Back off, man. You want some food? You don't want some food. So one of his friends came, got some food. It was a good. It was like a four-course meal. It was uh, beef and broccoli and all that, the whole thing. And I told him, do me a favor. Show that guy the food that he missed because he ain't getting any, you know? He's like, oh. So he, he was loud. And that was the first time I, in the, that I came to that sort of situation where he was loud. He was ready. You know, like he wanted to step up or something. I said, "Yo, wait, relax, relax, dude. It's just food. Forgive it. Hey, do you want any food? Let's go. Come yeah, on. let's go. <laughs> like, like, let's come go. On, no, that's yeah. There's a lot of people like that. People are people are all tensed up and whatnot. And I was going, and that's one thing I was going to talk about Frank about, right? Frank, you know, if he comes on tonight, we talk a little bit about Frank. Frank doesn't get tensed up, right? But, um. A little preview of that guy, right? I'm gonna, and I was gonna say this during his introduction, but I'll say it now. Hey, Brenda Moulton. Oh, Brenda, yeah. We're hoping Frankie gets on. I think that's Frankie's friend. Oh, help me, Gucci, to get on all that. What's up, Brenda? Thanks for being here. Anyone we were new here or whatnot, though, get this video a like to get it moving. And uh, please subscribe to the channel, and uh, we appreciate you. We just had some technical difficulties, though, and Mike is behind the scenes backstage trying to figure out on um, him and Frank are trying to figure out how to get Frank on. So, because Frank's having some difficulties. So, in the meantime, we brought on the boss man, Gooch. He'll be on. But I tell you what, Frank was, you know, I was going to do this as an introduction, but I'll, I'll, I'll say it again during the introduction. He does come back on, but you know, Frank's the type of ride or die guy that you want. You know, he's the type of guy that if you want to bring somewhere, if you're into a little bit of trouble, you think you're going to get in a little bit of trouble, Frank's a good guy to have in your seat because that motherfucker, man, I tell you, he's calm. You hear him, he talks, he talks calm, very calm. He's smart, though, too, though, like, because he, he he's very smart. I like his he's very videos. smart yeah. and don't fuck with him. You know, that's that's the deal. You don't mess with Frank. Yeah, I don't fuck with anyone. That's just me. But my whole thing though is that he don't like he he thinks everything over. Like, why am I gonna do this now when I could fucking he just I like his videos because he's not glorifying it or saying whatever like you know about situations that happened, at least the ones I seen. But um No, I know that. I know, yeah, one I know those, that. No, he's, he's one of those no hesitation guys though that No, you know, you're right. No, like he's the type of guy, right? So if he's a, when he was in the joint, he tells me this story, right? I'm, I'm not going to take anything away from him because he'll tell it again and listen to it again. But it's just a preview of what you what you're going to hear. So you know, some guy's going to give him a beef up and up in the joint, right? And he and he and he's on him. He says, calls him in names or something. And Frank's not the type of guy that says, you know, let's go. He doesn't do that. Frank doesn't do that. Yeah. What he does do though, he tells them. He says, look, it, yeah. I ain't going to fight with you now because it's not worth my energy. But one of these days when you're in the computer lab on the computer, I'm going to take that fire extinguisher and bash it against your head right down to the white meat. And he yeah. said that fucking guy with no more trouble after that, you know? That's, and that's how we dealt with things. But see, Frank would do that, though. He wouldn't, he'd be the type, he would, he's the guy that would do that if you mess with him. Yeah, so. no, but I'm saying, though, think that, and that makes, that makes the opponent, the other man, think like, all right, yeah, man, even if I get the better of him right now, there's a fire hydrant going over my head. Yeah, like, <laughs> for real, so yeah. It makes them, though, think twice about, you know. Yeah, you know, exactly. it's up here now, you know. It's up here. Yeah. And once it's I'm like sure you, Frank yeah. had, I'm sure he, had, he has done that before. Once once you do it once and someone sees you do that, then that's when, you know, people are like, all right, you know. It's like the art of war, you know. Well, yeah, that's what he was saying in his one video. He was talking about the art of war. I love that book. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. yeah, he was talking about it. I was checking his videos out this week because uh how did you find where did you did you find him on there on TikTok? Yeah, I did. I I, I kind of <laughs> how the fuck did he figure, how the fuck can he run a whole page and he, he doesn't even know to get on here? What's going on, Frank? Well, I, I guess I, I you, you, you yeah. 
<laughs> Why'd you get on TikTok? Don't even get fire hydrant. I'm just breaking your balls, Frank. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> you better look behind you, bro. I'm always up against the wall. Always. That's smart. Smart dude. So yeah, so that was that was his deal. And he I think he's on TikTok. He knows how to get on TikTok. Um and he uh he has got that he's got that that down. It's just his cut and the pasting thing, which uh yeah. which is a problem. Plus he was in the basement. Man. Tiffany Wilson. Hey Tiffany, thanks for being here. And uh very smart. That's what I was saying. Very smart and helpful. Like, and one of the stories that I heard him say was like, Why am I gonna it was I think it was like what you said, but it was just for me, I don't know, it sounded very intelligent. Like, you know, he has he has some solid advice, I think. And, no, I do uh, he does. And I agree with uh, that about you know we'll have his channel day. and the link this uploads back up to once Mike gets on, I'll put the links up uh um in the description so you guys could uh follow and uh, subscribe to both Gucci and Frank. Yeah, so yeah, and I watched his I, I saw him in the very beginning. I knew he was you know something that I love this car to begin with, you know, the car he rides around in. Um Which I just want to ask do you mind if I ask someone in the audience a question, Brenda? Yeah, TikTok is so much easier. This is a pain in the ass trying to get on here. It took me almost an hour. Thank God Gucci helped me. It's I don't usually don't just hit YouTube and then you just type in like a YouTube video. But I think what ends up happening, what a lot of people did, what they did the last time I was on, they they went to your page, but they lost they they watched the last episode instead of watching the live episode. <laughs> Oh, uh, no, usually, yeah, but our circle, though, should be, like, right when you're on our page, it should be lit up and saying live, and you could just hit that, and it'll pop your Yeah, right, right. Well, you know, if you're doing it for the first time, some people are going to find out. You know, yeah, find no, out. no, I hear you, because the TikTok lives, I uh, I still have to do one of them, though, but TikTok, I don't know, I, none of my videos ever bite over there, so, but I'm, I'm trying, you know what I mean? I don't, you don't really get, You know, though. if you get one or two... The Buffalino one is pretty cool, though. Yeah, yeah, I just did another one, too. Yeah, that's just pretty remember. cool. Those are cool videos. Oh, uh, yeah, I got a lot of great footage with Joe over the weekend, though, so I can't. I'm looking but you better be, like, on the, you got to, you, yeah, you got to have, I don't know how many followers you have and how many are in the genre. Um, I have, no, I could go live, though. I have over 2,000 followers. Yeah. So I think you need 1,000 to go live. Yeah, I mean that was a little teaser your last video, wasn't it? What's up? It sounded sound like that that last video you did with him was a little teaser. Like See, something was coming. Again. What's the last word that you just said? Teaser. Teaser. Was it a teaser? Oh yeah, no, yeah. Just showing like a little clip. It's actually like a behind the scene with the cell phone because we're working on a project. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, on an actual legit like documentary project. So those little things on the phone are more for like, you know, little shorts and like little teaser little yeah. things that what's to come promotion type stuff. You know what I mean? Getting people. See, are, are you, you run, are you running the documentary? Are you yeah. doing, are you doing that? That's cool. Yeah. With the, yeah. With a few other guys. Yeah. Yeah. From all around. Yeah. So it's going to be, uh, I'm looking, uh, I, I've been doing it for a while now and it's, that's why like, you know, they have me holding all this stuff and, a lot of like the memorabilia and stuff, just holding on to it for the documentary. But I mean, and all all the all the documents that that we have and stuff, it's crazy. It's been a crazy wow. Project. A lot of work. A lot of when, work. When 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 do you think everything comes together? It's like, so hard to say though, because even then, once everything's filmed, right after the end, like his the B roll and all that is right there, and so is the drone footage and all that. But the um, once the interviews are done, then the editing though process that <laughs> takes time. No, so, it does. I'm okay. not editing it. You know, I'm having a professional. Yeah. Right. Excuse me. I'm not editing it. But um, I'm just saying, though, like, well, I would love for it, though, to be able to come out, though, this coming winter, though. But um, we'll see what happens. Where would you All Where I would know, you put it? I mean, are you aiming it to put it anywhere or, or you want to see who wants to pick it up or something like that? Yeah. What you could do is, like, you go to film festivals, like, with a two minute, um, they call it. Yeah. Video, yeah. Cool. Show clips. See if someone's interested. Or yeah. you could put it up on Amazon and you could put it on Amazon. Right. And um, see how many people are going to click on it and stuff. And, nice. Uh, that's another that's another thing too because if anyone's watching a mob movie, or whatever, that's going to be recommended. 
And anyone who sees a documentary on Russell, there's never been like a legit actual documentary, like, you know, like a big time, like a fully production on Russell. So I think people will click on that and watch it. Yeah. How long, how long is it going to be? Do you think? Uh, now, like an hour and a half. Oh, that's, that's, that's appropriate. Yeah. That's, yeah, that's pretty good. That's a pretty good time. Like, be realistic. Not doing that like four, some like and that takes forever. No, but people are doing like four those limited series, which I love on Netflix. Yeah. But they're like four episodes. Like that shit. Like, like when you watch the documentary, it's like all right, but the work that goes into it. That's, it's that's a lot of work, man. You can't imagine. They, first, but they so. started. Yeah, they started it two years ago or something. It's like a long time to put it together. Yeah, realistically, I started this almost two years ago. We'll start yeah. and like had the ball rolling two years ago. Yeah, because I'm from the area and uh, I already interviewed Joe's daughter like over like a year and a half. Yeah, ago. you it's seem fun. comfortable. Yeah, you seem comfortable with him. You know, it seems like that's pretty cool. Oh, he's a great guy. Yeah, Joe's great. Yeah, he became. And you seem comfortable idiot. with with with, the, with Red up in Southie. You seem very comfortable with him. Oh yeah, yeah. John, he's another good friend of mine. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, I was just gonna reach out to him actually a couple of it was like two days ago. Someone he from gave, California he, was reaching out to me, uh wanted to see if he wanted to do podcasting and stuff like that. But yeah. Yeah. No, yeah, I know I known him since 2016. And uh because I went up there, did an interview because he had respect for the area, like because he doesn't go to do a lot of podcasts, but he's like he responded to me because he's Mr. Uh, he's Selfie, like, oh, man. <laughs> yeah, I know, but he's he's like Scram Wilkesbury. He's like I heard about you. It's like hard working, tough type guys up there, this and that. And that he had respect yeah. for the town, and that's why no. he responded to me. And, and no, that's good. Know, we did the interview, and then we hit it off though. And uh, yeah, great guy though, nicest guy, nice guy, who nice actually, guy. Yeah, and he, rem- yeah, who he gives a shit about you. It's not just he's a great fucking dude. Yeah, and he he grew up in the projects too. Yeah, rap in Celtics, right there, man. That's the book. Yeah, yeah, he and did, you know, yeah, the projects. He, he gave me that idea. He gave me that, and just when I heard him say that, when you interviewed with him, when he when he talked about, you know, whether you're in the when you're in the joint, you know, you just gotta show up for these fights. You just are on the streets, even. You just gotta show up, whether you win or lose. You know, that's you know, that's just half the game, right? You gotta be there to show up because if you if you don't show up, then you're mud for the rest of your life in that area in that neighborhood. Oh, you're done. Yeah, and that's the whole thing. Yeah. Even if you get your ass kicked or whatever. You're yeah, still, you're still respected. You have and to you're still up. respected. Have to show up. You know what I mean? And that's that was the main thing. And I hear a lot of people from Southie say that. You know, like that's how it was out there. Show up. You know, like if someone, no matter if you say, say you just know that this, even if you know maybe this guy might get the better of you, there's yeah. no, uh, uh, you, you got to step. You know, you don't take a back step. Well, we did have, you know, we did have, we we did have these fights back in the back, you're back in somebody's backyard. Where we just have tape and it's just raw fist and you're fighting. Yeah. And some people, some people, like what, what, yeah, and what ended up happening instead was of this, instead of the gun, oh, I'm going to shoot you. I like, yeah, no, we were there, gun. but it was like, okay, Michael, you're going to, you're going to go with Gucci this time and you're going to fight each other. And okay, here we go. Boom, boom, boom. We're fighting. Now, the ones that were scared they want to fight would just stand there, right? Waiting for you to come and do yeah. something. They, you know, they just stand there and then you'd have to clock them. You know, you'd have you'd have to do something to get him motivated, and then he got motivated. But then, you know, but that was just with raw with raw fist. You know? Yeah, absolutely. I heard I heard uh, one of the I don't know Brick Brick uh, if Dom is still out there, but one of his friends said the other day I cracked up. He was talking about uh, he was ready to fight some guy in the mall because he was giving him some shit, and you know he said how old he's getting. He said. Can punch from 1987. I could just haul off and belt somebody with it. You know? <laughs> oh. You know? No, absolutely. I'm just reading, I'm trying to read in some comments from your people that I come over. Yeah, you got on the Gucci. I love the people who follow you who come over. I got I got a lot of I got a lot of people. I got a lot of people. I know. I like the the, now the Dom the wig. I uh, Nikki the wig, excuse me. No disrespect, Nikki. Uh, what was I gonna say? Um, I like what's his name, Boca Joe. I've been watching some, but you know, Boca, Boca Joe's, Joe's a good guy. Great. He's a good yeah, guy. Boca Joe's like a good guy. guy. No, he seems like he likes the. Yeah, just he's in. Great. He's in. Hey, never tell. Never say that he's in cement. He's in concrete. He's not in cement. He's in concrete. I made the mistake one day. He said he's in the cement business. He said, "No, Gucci is concrete business. Don't fuck around." <laughs> <laughs> 
so I ended up. I'm I ended crew, up. Though, man. I gotta meet. Oh, one day, want to meet all of these man. Go out to yeah, dinner. Yeah, you come down to Just Boca. Stuff. We have a we have a good time. That last yeah. time I was down there, we had a good time down to Boca. Um, yeah, man. Absolutely. But so I met this. I met. Okay, so without going into any names or anything. Your screen froze, Gooch. Okay. Maybe that's it maybe that's just for me. Maybe other people see it, but for me, you're frozen. I'm frozen still. Yeah, I don't know what happened to your screen. Yeah, I can hear you great though. I'm done. Yeah, it's just there's no visual movement. This is technical difficulty evening. <laughs> it is, man. Tonight, man, we're just uh. Um, it happens though. You know these things happen. You think you want me to come in back out? Come in and come back out again, maybe. Yeah, do that, Gooch. That'll work. All right, All right let's see what Mike's got. What do you got, Mike? Hey, what's up? We're working on it still right now. He's out, but I think we're a step away right now, man. We're about to go. Sorry, man. We're working on it. <laughs> I uh, say, what's up to everyone? What's up? What's up, everybody? <laughs> man, I'm sorry. I feel like it is. Hold on one second. All right, folks. Now the show is we're almost there. Mike, did you tell him just to hold the copy? Oh, great. No, Mike can't even hear me. What is going on tonight? Mike, can you hear me? He's yeah, he's still having trouble, man. He, to tell him to paste his link in Safari. Yeah, all you you hit the when you hold the button like this, it'll say copy, but I hit select all. Hit We've copy. done it from Google. We've done it from Hold from no, but listen, I'll hold the search thing down and then just hit paste and then hit That's search. And it'll come right in. And now I got Rob calling me from from Oklahoma. Well, you got responsibilities. Yeah, no, I know. Man. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Throwing you under the bus. Oh. Hey, Frank, can you still hear me, bro? Okay. Good. Coach, you're there. Hey, hey am, am I, am I, uh, am I right now? Yeah, you're good. No, I'm telling them. Hold up one second. So, anyway, in TikTok, right? I won't tell you what happened. I won't tell you what I wandered into, but I wandered into this place where uh, there's, there's a con, there's, there's a, uh, there, there's a uh, a uh, content creator called Mob Mob Connect, right? Okay. And it's all mob stuff. And he showed this big guy from Chicago. I think his name was his name was uh, so and so, the big man, or the big man so and so. And I said, and I said, uh, boy, that that was uh, aptly named or something like that. You know, that's a no brainer, right? So. I get this DM from from a guy that was my, my friend on TikTok for a long time. And he says, you know, that's that's one of my closest friends up there. I said, oh, that's awesome. That's cool. He said, yeah, you know, some people might take that no brainer as 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 a problem. And then he said, I said, oh, OK, so I don't mind out of respect. I'll, I'll change it. But then he gave me his name. He told me to look him up. Yeah. And that guy I'm talking to is a fucking real deal. You know, he's like, OK, so. I got caught up a little bit in and in, uh, oh, in mob man. talk over there, and um, he uh, he he didn't mind telling me uh, go look him up and you know he you know the guy is there's something up when as you do your research you type his name and he's the first fucking thing that comes up and they got videotapes of him and he's got him on the wire and all that bullshit. Well, but, yeah, yeah. Oh, so he was a real. Oh, so he's a real one. Yeah, he's the real deal. And I said, you know, play. I didn't know you were the real deal, bro. And I appreciate that, and I appreciate the respect you give me for having the opportunity to change my change my uh, my D, my message to him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, but you're just talking normal, like, hey, it's like, hey, Mike, it's a no brainer, blah blah. blah. Yeah, and, and he said, he said it may come across as you're calling him a no brainer. Said, Damn, that's the last thing I want to I want to do is is disrespect anybody from uh, the Chicago mob, you know? Jeez. Those guys are tight. I asked him, and I, I, by the way, I was asking, right? I was trying to pitch. I was going to say, hey, you ever talked about your story at all on podcast? He says he's been asking a million times, but he'll never go on the podcast to tell his story ever. Really? He says, yeah. he says, my guys like to keep it, keep it quiet, you know? So that's, yeah. that's the outfit for you, right? I don't know if many people from the outfit are on 
doing live shit no, or whatever. But he, no one ever, I don't know. Wait, was there ever anyone though the, from the outfit? I don't want if Frank Collada wasn't in the outfit. He was an associate, but I'm saying anyone from the outfit that ever. Well, there's that. Um, what's his name? Um, uh, Calvinese, the father and son trial. So, uh, but I don't know. Yeah. He wasn't though. Yeah, but he wasn't. Um, I mean, I'm trying to think. Was there ever? Yeah, that's weird though. You know, you never really see a lot of. There's not a real lot of cooperation. I bet you if you add up the cooperation of Chicago and New York, it's a different level. It's a different you know, month. And they keep, York, yeah. There's a lot of their five families, and it's probably big. Oh, I don't know. It's bigger. Right. But this yeah, is pretty. Yeah, I got to look into the outfit. Though. I mean, I know a lot of the members. I know a lot about it. But I mean, I want to. Yeah, but like, they're pretty quiet. They, he's telling me they're yeah. pretty quiet about it, you know, and they, they still stick together. Yeah. Yeah, plus, though, Gooch, like, you know, we only talk about the history stuff on here and nothing current, as you know. And I know you wouldn't anyway, you know. Right. You know, so that's what we do. I so anyway, he, invite, he invited me up to Chicago for a cocktail whenever I was up there. So then I felt better about it. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Hold on. I just thought I'd tell you guys that I'm not actually with Frank right now. I actually live in Maryland, so that's where I am, near Baltimore. I think that's Frank's right, girl. Yeah. Yo, Brent is. Oh, okay. Hey, what's up, Brent? Uh, so now that's Frank's girl? I think so. Yeah. Got it. Got it. Thanks for being here. And um, we're just working on the technical difficulties. It sounds like they were getting close. Frankie's having a hard time because it's storming and thunderstorming and lightning here. And I'm sure it is in Virginia also. That's probably his problem. Got it. Yeah. Thank you, Brenda. Well, you know, the, the whole thing is, though, if for some reason, if he can't figure it out, I mean, we absolutely either A, he could come we'll on do tomorrow it again. night. He could come on yeah. tomorrow night if he wants to, or we could reschedule until whatever, because we have like an open door tomorrow night. Okay, always come on. So we could just have him on tomorrow. We'll do it. We could do it tomorrow. I don't think something. it'll matter. Nah. Yeah. He'll get on. What's going I'll on, Lisa? You Thank well. you for being here. Guys, please like and subscribe to the content. We appreciate it. And then, no, so um, what the hell was I just saying, no, Gooch? Oh, the Chicago outfit. That's right. So the old guys, though, like the old days back here, like with that, say, like Sam G and Kana, like yeah. who was like, you know, the cover boss basically for Tony Accardo. But I mean, yeah. he was around you know, during the Capone days, all that shit, though. Uh, yeah. There's these guys were. Uh, they were something, and like you know, they were in. Uh, they weren't just Chicago though. They had a lot of the Midwest. They had a lot of Hollywood. You know what yeah. I mean? Like they, yeah, they branched out. out. They branched yeah. out, right? Yeah, Cardo was one of the smartest bosses that never spent any time in prison, which is crazy to me. Yeah, didn't get murdered. Just died with his shoes on. Well, died with his shoes off, I should say. Sorry. Oh, That's wait, what he I'm wanted. Fucking, <laughs> fucking that all up. Yeah, but not many though. Uh, mobsters though end up though uh, dying out of prison or not in the dirt already, let alone a mob boss. That's right. Yeah, that's pretty tough. Tony Accardo. He was something. Yeah, man. he was something. You ever know anything about the Westies, Gooch? You ever follow them or like look into them? The Irish in New York. Oh, the Irish down in New York. Yeah, I heard stories about them. You know, I read I read some something about them and. How they, you know, how they helped, uh, you know, uh, the crime families down in, down in uh, New York. How they'd be did like a subcontract, some of their work because you know they did a pretty good job. Yeah. You know? Well, yeah, because yeah, and then they joined up with the freaking the Mayo crew, who uh, yeah, chopping. And that was it. That was the Mayo crew was a fucking maniac. Uh, <laughs> so imagine those two crews coming together. That's that's, that's yeah. That that was horror, like that's the worst horror movie on earth. Yeah, that was like you, you can make a movie out of that fucking thing, you know. Got it. Yeah, exactly. It was, What's up, Mike? What's up, fellas? Man, we've been I've done everything that I could think of. He said he's got some people maybe near him. He's going to try. We, we tried through Facebook. We tried through Safari. We tried through Google. And every time it just he couldn't get it to go through. And so I'm sure it's either his phone. He's got a good, like a brand new iPhone. So 
either it's blocking him or something like that, or um, yeah, I don't know, man. No, I mean, these things happen, yeah. man. So, if, no, <laughs> Frank, if you're watching this, though, don't feel better. Ever. We'll figure out. A, I even don't. said, Mike, if he, if he can't figure it out tonight, like he can come on whenever the fuck. It's just that's uh, what I told him. That's what I told him. I said, don't sweat it, man. Hey, for a year, I had my daughter hooking mine up and doing stuff. I didn't never messed with it or even touched it. So, that's it's nothing. Yeah. Yeah. Remember that. Yeah, I mean, you know, in retrospect, we, you know, y'all was a backseat driver. We could have been on with him earlier because when you send out that link, right? You can get on. You can get on there part, right away, right into the backstage. Yeah, he can't even like, get to that. Yeah, it's like bringing him to. It's no, telling him to pay. But I'm the saying link. you sent it. You sent it like hours yeah, ago. Paste, so you copy and paste it in the Google thing and hit search, and it brings him in. Yeah. So the thing, the thing but we should have, the thing I should have. I could have helped him with was like two or three hours ago, try to get him to, right, to log in. Right. I get you. That's what I was hoping to do too, man. And I got caught up. Yeah. With a, but I was, that's why I was telling him if he wanted to practice during the day, that way, if he had any issues that he could, uh, you know, let me know. But I, I you know, listen, man, I'm, you know, I feel bad. Cause hey, shit happens, bad. man. Yeah. What do you feel bad for, man? It happens. I so just I hate of- that. I didn't take more time to try to help him to get on there before we even, got to this point. Yeah, but there's know? a lot of stuff going on during the day, you know? I mean, shit. A lot of things happening. Yeah. yeah shit and, you, know. Though, you know? So, we just keep it moving. In That's what I think's happening. Pop-ups. That's what I'm thinking. So, is he, is he, uh, is he got some friends working on it right now, Mike? He said he's going to ask a couple people real fast and see, and he's going to mess with it. I, I'm literally bet it's like something simple that it's, I know what it is. I know what he's, but it's just all he has to do is he has to he has to paste the link into the where it says Google. He just mm-hmm. paste it right That's there. That's what he did. Google. That's what he did. And then every time he would do it, it would tell him open up Safari. It would redo the same stuff. It would tell him. The oh, same stuff. okay. So it's just bringing it back to Safari. It's just a loop. Get back, to get, to get back to Google. Exactly, man. Yeah. Yeah. yeah that's uh, I. Don't know. How do you fix that? Uh, got me, man. Mike, you know, Mike, Mike's good at Mike's good with this stuff. <laughs> yeah, sure. If I was good, we'd well, be on. <laughs> <laughs> no, you know what? Why did Gucci That's keep why... freezing? Oh no, there you are, Gucci. All right, I was yeah. like, fuck. I thought you froze again. You, you know what it is? Some people go said that he had trouble, uh, uh, with his phone set going through his phone settings or something like that. I think some people have said it's easier if you do it on a laptop as opposed to a phone sometime. Because well, it yeah. Doesn't... Well, yeah. Hey, let me call let me call him for a minute. Let me I'll be right back. Go for it. Go for it. Yeah, Gooch. Anyway, man. Uh yeah, I mean, I just said I I feel uh, you know, kind of frustrated that I didn't reach out to him earlier to, you know, to make sure, man, we should always make sure that the person, whoever it is, no matter what, that they're their links going good and you know apologize yeah, no, absolutely you know we live and we learn you know sometimes we fall on our face and we learn so anymore will we whoever we have on if they never did it meaning like if they never did stream yard before or whatever right. we'll tell them like come on early so we could do some practice runs practice just to right. make sure that they know that they could definitely get on exactly. and this way we don't have to worry about that that's all yeah and and Mike, that's like you know, we learn hands on. I mean, that's that's just the bottom line, you know. And I don't and even apologies. know if he has a laptop at all, man. You know, so it, you know, yeah, yeah, I no, emailed him no, all no. that. I couldn't think, yeah, of me. but he doesn't even need one, he could just use his phone. And I know, I think he, he uses his phone on I saw his TikTok videos. I know he uses he does his phone real good that. with it, yeah, yeah, he does. Yeah. So, um, it's like that thing going back to Safari. See, I thought though that he couldn't figure out on the phone because, uh, um, Gooch was saying though that the, the part to copy to paste it to get it up though he couldn't though figure it out. And plus, we I got that. Even... We got that part. We yeah. didn't get that and total because I like and when he would hit search, it would just bring him back to Safari. As soon as he put it in there and push go, yeah, it would just go back to the. It was like no, that's oh, not, that's not even on him. Yeah, he's got no, yeah, or it's not. Yeah, he's yeah. doing what he's supposed to do. I'm telling you, I think it's like the phone's blocking it or something like that. You know. I was just talking to Frankie, and he's still trying so hard to get on. It yes. just will not let him subscribe. And I told him when I come down in a couple of weeks, I think I might be able to help him get on. 
Thank you, Brenda. I appreciate thank that. Yes, thank you so much. And tell him don't sweat it at all. I mean, he's trying. It's not anything he's doing. He's there ready to roll, but it's just literally some type of technical issue that he's having. Yeah, right? tell him that everything it's fine and we'll have him on, obviously, whatever. Just these things happen. They happen. And and uh let me answer this one. Uh the next one's better, but go ahead. Yeah, same thing. That could be that could be good. Both of those. I can answer that. So when I sent him the link, it gave him an option to sign in through YouTube or Facebook. And whenever he clicked either one of those, no matter how I sent it, I sent it from Facebook. I sent it from uh, email. I sent it through text. Every time he did it, it would go back to paste the link in what's it called, which was I don't get it, man, because when I hit the link from my phone and I never even used my phone for this show, when I hit the link from my phone, it says enter the studio. Yeah. You know, when he was click yeah. hitting it, it was saying put it in Safari and blah blah blah. No matter where I send it to, so I don't know what else. All right, well, yeah, he's still yeah. trying, Brenda said. But yeah, tell him no, don't sweat it though. He's still trying. Just call me, but I'm supposed to see him in a couple of weeks, and I'm pretty sure I can help. Awesome. Yeah, listen, it's not like he can ever come on. He can come on any time that he wants. It's just, right. uh, you know, we should have just we should have done. Uh, that's on us a little bit, though. We should have. It is on me, no. man. I feel bad because I'm the one that knew I should have did that, man. You know? I really well, Bob do. Bob Beetle, was making some good points, though, because if what, what Bob Beetle was saying is that if YouTube though, was actually installed, though, in the phone or even just Google right there, like, and you don't have to go through the whole Safari process. Right. I had him put it in Google, and it said the same thing. I had him put it in Google and everything, so. Yeah, and with the YouTube though too though, because he's going on Streamyard though. So I don't know if it would matter though with the YouTube because he's going through Streamyard. You know what I'm saying? Which is okay, actually so. no. She said, I mean, he's saying wait. What I mean, Mike, is does he have YouTube installed on his phone? Like, does he have the app installed in there, or does he have to go in Safari, type in YouTube, and gotcha. that's what I believe. Is right, the question? Right. I could be wrong. That, that's a good question. No, that's a good. I'm question. wrong a lot. I'm wrong a lot. But you know what, bro? That may be why mine signs in easy because it has that option. Yeah. Oh, that man, I don't I think know. It would. Yeah. Okay. That may be the oh. issue, man. Well, you know, these things happen. Yeah, man. What happened to, go no what happened to Gucci? Is he all right? He's, he's talking to. Uh, no, he's, I know. Ta he's talking to Frank, trying to get it, trying to get Frank on there, man. Trying to get Frank on there, man. Frank wants to come on. He's ready to roll. Jeez. I think, man, <laughs> freaking bummed. <laughs> it sucks. I hear you. I will, I will. He's very disappointed. If you can't get on with his phone, I'll let him use mine. Yes, I told him that you guys will have him on some other time if need be. Thank you, guys. Yeah, absolutely. For sure. Anytime. Thank you, Brenda. Be safe. Yeah, thank you so much. Yeah, and tell him don't sweat it for sure. I mean, he he's, and he's Beetle, Brenda's right not with him. Brenda's not with him right now, though. Right. That thing. Right. Right. Got it. So what's up, man? Not nah, man. Not much. Just uh, relaxing, chilling. You know what I mean. You told me earlier I'd be sleeping, but you know I was holding court sleep, down here. Yeah, sleep, bro. <laughs> <laughs> you're half asleep. You're ready to turn in. You're half. You're half asleep. No, you stayed up. I said, yeah. I mean, of course, I'm. I'm always exhausted. But I do. The last two, three days, I've been absolutely like insane. In a good, well, good. And you know, with what I have going on, but then with that project, I had to like wake up, man. Like I was in a funk for like a little while, and it was, you know, I just had to right. wake up, get out of it, and just start, just you know, doing shit again. And uh, but yeah, it's great. So that's I just awesome, all man. I've been doing is working on uh, working on that all weekend, then going down to Pittston and Old Forge and uh, everywhere, pretty much some spots of Wilkesbury, doing um filming and stuff like that. Man, that's gonna be nuts, bro! You are doing a serious, some serious, serious work out there, man. Carmine, DJ happy Carmine, Easter, happy Easter, everyone. Talk soon. Happy Thank Easter, you, Carmine. Same to you and yours. Um. Yeah, man. No, we definitely are. Definitely trying to. I mean, we we are. It's just uh, it's a lot of work. Oh, it's a fucking lot of work. We're getting there, though. Yeah. 
Hold on, Brenda. Yes, you have to have YouTube downloaded and your email on it just to get in. So I don't know if he has it down. That's what it probably is. And yes, I will tell him that. Thank you, guys. And he understands. Awesome. All right, Brenda. Thanks again. But uh, yeah. What was I saying? Oh, Ned, man, just about uh, about the project, man. You know, I said, geez, that you, man, you're putting in a lot of work. It's going to be, that should be a great, great uh, documentary, yeah. man. A, a, a once real man, deal. Inter- once all the interviews are done, man, it's just, it's, yeah. But then the editing process, so, which is. That's a uh, lot of editing, man. See, I didn't know that because, like, you know, I'm new to this. So I get this camera and, uh, it, you know, the video looks great and the pictures look fantastic. But like when I was watching it, though, it didn't look movie quality or whatever. It was 4K and it looked real clean and all that. But then everyone's like, no, dude, you do that in the editing process and all that type of stuff. And someone though showed me just like a little bit of like what it could like look like today. And I was just like over the moon, like, oh, my God, this is going to be ridiculous. Not wow. from my point of view. You know what I mean? Uh, I mean, yeah. I mean, not meaning like, oh, yeah, this could be ridiculous because I'm doing I'm just saying the look of it with the camera and i learned that you want to shoot more like with the natural and have more light down so that you could do more in uh, put not post yeah well post production not post production what's it called no oh, production and then post is no editing whatever the fuck i don't need to say the hollywood uh terms all right at the end of the movie when you're done filming you edit whatever that is um <laughs> and that's uh <laughs> you know Executive assistant producer. Can you ever see sometimes the actors talk and they're like, and the normie geniality of the mission of the film. Oh, yeah. Of that went on with the. Oh, I'm waiting on you to do that, bro. You're going to have a beret on. With, with no, 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 no. When they talk, hey, like that, hey. I'm like, I can't. Uh, and then the neurological system of the systematic oh, fucking bro. shut up. Fuck off. Oh, you listen, man. You're gonna have those. They're artists those... because they're pretending to listen. They are artists, they're actors, but this whole goddamn Ernest Hemingway, look at me shit, or whatever you want to call them. I don't oh. know why that name came to my head, yeah. but I'm just trying to say that stop with the poetry. Tell us something that you know. Dude, like when they like if you ever go like behind the scenes of the movie and like you hear them talk about the movie, they're like, I know the voluptuous, and because do you know what I mean? And I'm like, come on, dude. You know, you definitely heard that word. You're practicing for a while at home because no one knows the word. That's what they do a lot, Mike. Yeah. Well, here's what's going to happen. You're going you're gonna to have one of those long cigarettes on the Frog. End of the thing. Yeah, go ahead. With, 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 a, with a beret on, yelling cut with and all kind of stuff and quiet on the set and shit. Yeah. What's up, Frog? I'm not the director. That's all the director, right. well, Mike. I, listen, bro. I know you're going to be over there doing that and using big words. So it's coming. Get it going. I just it's just funny to me now sometimes. Like I'm just like, why do they gotta talk like that? Just 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 talk. Big shot. Sometimes like sometimes though actors don't break your heart. Like when I was a little kid, like they you like if they played like roles like where they were just fucking awesome, and like then you hear them talk in real life, you're like, oh man, because you're hoping that he's like the dude that you liked in the movie. <laughs> real deal. <laughs> you know what I mean? Oh, but a lot, a lot of, them of them are like that. that. But it's just funny, though, man, because even like, okay, even musicians, let's say, a lot of musicians don't even talk like that. And they're fucking smart as fuck. And now they play. Right. And yeah, sometimes they'll use like a big word here, but they're not like the full of reality of the no. No musicians really like that. So it's just, I don't know, fucking actors, man. Yeah. What did Louis C.K. say? This is no disrespect to actors. Wait, well, oh, he said, I don't know. remember Opie and Anthony, man? Oh, jeez, yeah. So my man was fucking Patrice O'Neill. Oh, yeah. Remember, remember Patrice? yeah, yeah, rest in peace. Oh, oh yeah, man, man dude. In, that of course, my guy. Man. That was yeah. my guy. But uh, was good, man. my heartburn he shit here. Yeah, he, um, stressing out. We got heartburn. <laughs> not because of all the fucking stupid sugar I had. Jeez. Listen, since it's Arizona, it's a ginseng. I thought they might be um healthy. But then look what they did, Mike. You know my trick. When I get regular gummies, I mix them with the sour. Arizona just happened to drop sours. So what I do is I mix the sours with the regs, and then boom, and it's fucking heaven. And then I, I, I'm, I'm washing that down with, with a boom. And not even that, though. And then I got another boom for the show. So it's like, Damn. you know. Bro, how the hell are you handling all that? Well, that's why I'm here. I mean, that's how I'm here. 
I'm dead tired at times, man. Like, you know, it's like, but I mean, it is what it is, you know? That's some serious caffeine, man, and sugar. Yeah. Man, that'll have me all paranoid. And, uh, you know, I'll be all right. All right. You know what I mean? Yeah. (laughs) Jeez. Nah, man, I could, hey, I could knock out a big bag of, like, sour worms or something like that, dude, any day, any day. Any day, man. Look, he's like, no wonder why you're so all over the fucking place. Am I all... <laughs> Does he mean now? Like, am I all am I all over the place right now, or is he mean in general? Probably in general. Ah, uh, he's just breaking balls. He's just he's just breaking balls. What's no, up, actually, coach? No, actually, no. I am all over the place. Well, I used to be really all over the fucking place. I want to talk about ping pong? But just watch the old shit. <laughs> Did you How say okay? What's up, Lee? Calls gay downstairs neighbor. What's up? What's up? No, tell Lee we said hello. Um, did you yeah. say cocaine? Yes, we did. Yes, we did. So okay, see you here, pal. Uh, so how far back do you have like, to see those? We apologize shows. again, no, but our guest will be. We're just doing a rain check. So me and OG Mike are still they're gonna um still you know shoot the ship basically with you guys, but go ahead, Mike. No, no, that's good, man. I'm I, hey, there's a chance he could still pop on, man. He's trying. The dude's still trying. He he's uh you know. No, I know. Absolutely. Absolutely. He's working yeah. on it and so, you know, if he pops on, we'll we'll do uh uh part 1 as far as we can or whatever else, man. So it, it's I have to man. see it. A lot of people be like, "No, the iPhone." First off, let me tell you something, Brenda, you're right. I'm beginning to believe my Android phone's better than iPhone. That's why I use these, though, is because, um, first off, the storage is just way better, obviously. But besides that, though, um, it always brings, like, you know how, like, the iPhone, it brings up the Safari and all that BS bullshit. Android's way better. The iPhone has a better camera on it now because you can get the different lenses for it. But the fucking, yeah. What do you do about iTunes? Pandora. Or anything. I don't even know what that is, bro. The iPhone fucking sucks, but Mike, don't start with me. <laughs> <laughs> no, bro, I've been out. For, what is up? Nice. He calls gay number. Let's party. Man, nice hell party. yeah. Thank, Thank you. you for the donation, guys. Anyone would like to hell donate, yeah. the link is in the description. Thank you very much, Lee Calls yeah. Gay Downstairs Neighbor. Super Appreciate cool, man. you. Thank you. The ghost gets it. Fuck that iPhone bullshit. I can't get nothing to me. Yeah, exactly. Come Android. on, Ghost. And Ghost, Ghost, Ghost knows he loves I. Good. There's a couple things I know Ghost likes. He likes he, he in once. He wants chickens and the iPhone. That's all I know that Ghost likes, man. Chickens and iPhone, man. That's Let's party. Let's party, man. Thank you, bro. Real cool. Yeah, um, so she said you can set your default browser with iPhone. Yeah, listen, no man, like you know, I could pull up a video and pull up a tutorial, we could all watch it, but at the end of the day, um, you know, if it ain't doing what it says, it just won't do it. That's what stinks. And I would just no, listen, the iPhone is a fucking great phone for like you know, th- th- it takes beautiful pictures and all that bullshit. But what I'm telling you is the storage on it sucks, which is just common sense, and it also that safari shit, like Brenda said. And yes, Brenda, you're right. Um, they're definitely better um, than the iPhone, 100%. Meaning for storage-wise. Not like if you're going to take, oh, if you shoot a video on something, what would you rather? Or, oh, if you do this, I'm just saying they're better. Everyone's all over the iPhone. I need to iPhone 15. Like, they have more fucking iPhones than Jordans now. Well, you know, it's just getting silly. <laughs> what are we on, the 16th? I don't know, bro. You know what I do? I wait a few years and then I get my one. Fifty-two. And that way, be out. I barely put anything into it. I'm all good, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm on an iPhone 12, bro, and I'm happy as can be. You know what? You gotta get get the iPhone 13 Pro. I heard that boy's a beast, though. And that's what I'll get next. Yeah. I heard though that like you can make movie like fucking uh, like that, and you can actually get lenses for it. That's why I didn't realize, man, that with cameras, and I'm an idiot. I have so much stuff now. Like, I thought I'd get professional looking. Like, t- people are like, dude, people film fucking documentaries at times, like, even like with certain phones, and it's all the editing process and this and that. Right. So, right. the thing that I got there is more than fucking good enough. And also, not to mention the other Canon that we have, which is better than that. And, Can you uh, call anybody on that thing? 
when you call anybody or text on that camera or is it because no. see you can do all that on the iphone you can do all that stuff i'm plus. talking about my real fucking camera that's why i said the iphone's just as good bro what are you talking about man then you could do I everything know. i'm talking about a camera dude never mind hold on coach <laughs> What's up, yeah, coach? I was gone for a little bit. That's not, it's not going to happen tonight, guys. Yeah, so, I know. Yeah. It's all right. It's all right. These things happen. We, we, we try to we try to six way but Sundays, and and um, he's going to have yeah. to have to have somebody down there uh, to right. give him a hand. Yeah, you know. So yeah. it's understandable, man. It's no big deal. We there you go, it. Rube. There you we go. There you yeah. go. Uh, yeah, he said. No he said he had a lot. I said you have a laptop. Really he says yeah, he's going upstairs. But it's it's just it's still in the box. It's an apple, and I said it it probably take them you know an hour to set that up, you know, because you got to go on the internet. You got so yeah. I think by next yeah. time he'll be ready. I think so, man. We will do some test runs. We can Definitely, practice yeah. backstage That's a couple times go. just between us, and we won't have to sweat it. You know what I mean? It'll be ready to go. So That's no, all. I think I, I think we're cool with that. Yeah, yeah. No, I kind of sure, little, sure. little disappointing. You know, what was waiting for it to show, but you know what? It'll be better next time. Anticipation. Right, right. It's going to be good, well, man. This, like, since I got this shirt today that you mailed me, uh, let, the right. know, you know, let the people know the history of this shirt. So, yeah, man. So my my uh, grandpa, Tomasino, man, he, he came over from really? Sicily uh, through New Orleans. And uh, when he got here. Oh, that, that's cool. And, Is that and, him? Yeah, that's. That's him, and then that's my grandma Tomasino, and uh, yeah, they both. She came over here. She had never even seen him; only seen a picture yeah. when she came to marry him. No, and uh, he, get he was already here. And so, anyway, uh, yeah, man. So they 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 went into the grocery business and all that. During that time, they started opening like a pawn shop through the business, and they were selling bootleg, man, because it was during prohibition. Yeah. So they were selling whiskey and wine and then they were doing pawn shops so they both they got busted on both of those things several times wow so me and my cousin decided we're gonna make a shirt tomasino brothers illegal pawn shop man and they beat that case that was a uh irs case where they tried to charge them tax on the uh on the uh bootleg you know from prohibition and the judge ruled on their half saying you can't charge it on illegal uh proceeds so that's pretty that's cool, that. man. That's how we came up with it, man. And my cousin and me, uh, you know, put up the design and all that stuff. I like the design. You got the gun here, you got the godfather look here. You got yeah, it's a godfather looking thing, right? There. It's a godfather theme right. sort of thing, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Good tech. Yeah. Oh, and I love black and white shirts, these are my favorite. Right. What are they, twenty nine ninety nine? What are you doing with them? Oh, man, you know how it is. <laughs> he just sent it to me. <laughs> last week at the show, he's like, yo, last Sunday, he's like, I'm going to send you a shirt. And yes, he did. I had one one last large, man. I got like a little small one, I think, in there. We ordered like a couple hundred of them. So, do, you have, uh, do you have a link? Do you have, do you, do you use a uh, 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 T-shirt link or anything like that, or do you just make them? I have them, man. I, I printed all these up myself, Ryan. man. I printed them all up myself. And, that's uh, pretty cool. Still, everyone's still talking yeah. about the fucking iPhone. I mean, not Mac. personally myself. I know. The print place, you know what I'm saying? I, I had a printer a place. You know, they printed them up and shipped them to me. You know. Yeah. And so uh, I mainly a bunch uh, of people, in my family, I gave them to and stuff like that. A couple, you know, tattoo artists I knew. Uh, Ernie C's got one. Ernie C's got Body one. Body count. Yeah, yeah. That's it's pretty nice. cool. Yeah, man. If I do another run, I'm definitely sending you one, Gucci, for sure. Twenty is it thirty nine ninety nine? Is that what you're telling me? Twenty nine ninety nine. But you get a free one, bro. You get a free one. Oh, I get a free one. Okay. You get the right. comp, man. Get out of here, man. You kidding me? I got comps. You get the comp. You get the comp, man. You're on the. You're on the. You're on, hey, man. I'm on the. I'm on the comp list. To. You're on the comp list, man. How about the guy Jamal you were talking to, man? Stay. How Stay. that was a good little micro interview. Oh, the Jamal guy. Yeah, yeah, I met him yeah. at uh, Lindy's Chicken. He said, no joke. "I walk into I walk into Lindy's Chicken, right?" And they say, "Gucci Boomer, what's going on? Let's do a TikTok." I said, "You know, whatever." So he comes out and says, "I want to do a TikTok, right?" And I'm all right. So I said, "You know, right off the bat, I was like, did you do any time?" <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> he said, yeah, I did 10 years. I said, what did you do? <laughs> Who did, did time? Did yeah. some robbery. Okay, good. All right, well, I can use you then. Let's go over here. So I said, you know, uh, what did you learn for doing time? I think his, his little nugget was everything is everything that's gold is not, uh, what did he say? He said something like everything is gold. Um, is yeah, something like that. Everything gold is everything shiny is is not good for you. You know, he, yeah. he used to he was, he would rob it. He was robbing a bank, so not robbing a bank, but he used to rob people, and uh, he was very grateful. He's very grateful, but yeah. So those micro little interviews kind of work with that one question thing. You know, uh, uh, yours worked very good, Mike, with the stabbing of the damn uh, paper cardboard box. But, <laughs> Yeah, I saw that one though too. And I just started watching yeah. TikTok though, Mike. And like I was saying, I think I said in the last episode, I love that little bit though that you all did paper where you had knife. the suitcase. Yeah, it's paper knife. Right, and, like, right, you know, right. Yeah, yeah. 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 One over there. It's like everyone's a character, you know, literally. Right. Like, you know what I mean? It's like little character based. I like it. Just seems Definitely. real cool. And I, I can't get enough of Nikki the wig, you know? Oh, man. Are you kidding me? Man. Nikki, Nikki, the way I call him Nikki Connecticut now, man. Until he so, me. Well, hey, I was saying, no, but that's his real name. So I just be like, you know, I'll go there with the, I'll go with, still with the wig because I don't know if he wants me to say his real name. So out of respect, I'll just still say the wig, and uh, that's that. I think he but usually you, you Connecticut. You know what the fuck respect. he had to do with Connecticut? I heard you ask him. I heard you ask him, Gooch. It's from New York, right? He's from New York. I don't know what the fuck he had to do with Connecticut, but you know, whatever. <laughs> I think he did something there, probably. <laughs> uh, yeah, probably, yeah, yeah, probably did something there. Doing, I remember uh, Donald doing in Connecticut. Right, right, right. <laughs> that's the, that's, uh, but they're good dudes, you know. Yeah, oh, that one, that one TikTok, you know? that one TikTok that got them all, uh, that got them a lot of likes is when he came out. He was pissed because he wanted to go to New York, and uh, Don was asking him. He said. Don't you like the potential? Don't you like it down here? It's beautiful with the flowers. And the way he said, oh, fuck that. That <laughs> moment he said that. I mean, he got like, he blew up. That fucking TikTok yeah. blew up into like 900. Yeah. I got over a million uh, views he's or something. He's got over a million like now. Yeah. yeah. He's got over a million on that one. Yeah. 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 Hilarious. And he just God. said, the way, the way he said, oh, fuck that. We got uh, the botanical garden. We got the Bronx Zoo. You know, <laughs> Arthur Avenue. He said, "I do Yeah, but if called? you go, if you go on his page on TikTok, the pinned one, though, where 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 Nikki sees his old friends from Rhode Island, and the one guy's got on the cutoff polo. You know yeah, 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 oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's gangster. oh, you're cool. Yeah, you guys are look cool in that, that car. You're sitting low. Yeah, yeah. You're sitting low. Yeah. You look yeah, like man, mafioso. That's gangster. Bro, that's yeah. gangster. That's you know, gangster. This, this is gangster. Yeah. Who are those cats, uh, Gooch? Who are those yeah. cats? Could they come on the show? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there are a bunch of. There are a couple of people from people. from Rhode Island. Rhode Island cats. Huh? <laughs> oh, they were funny, bro. And he goes, uh, he he goes, Great where's channel, your piece at? BX Brick Layer over on TikTok and YouTube. BX goes, Brick Layer. Where's your piece at? And and Dom, he goes, it's under the seat. I got a water gun. <laughs> Nikki goes, yeah, no, he did say that. Gun. Oh man, I tell you what, oh, though, man. when I went when I went to visit them, right, and I brought Nikki a uh, Nikki the wig, uh, a carton of cigarettes. You gotta you gotta laugh with that because he he just right he hugged me like well that was so very thoughtful, right? Then I whispered in his ear, you know, you know what these cigarettes are about, right? So. I want about you know 15 more cases because and he laughed because that was his that that was some shit he got into up in New York about the cigarettes. That's right, more right. part of what he was doing up there. Right. And uh, it it's all on public record, it's all in the newspaper. Yeah, so. it was in the paper. Man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course, exactly. of course. Yeah, man. Up, Scotty. Scotty's in the house. Guys, yeah. oh, Scotty. Scotty. Scotty's in the house, baby. Scotty. What's up, Scotty? Johnny the Rebel Bronx, the Bronx. Johnny the Rebel, the Bronx. What you Bronx, doing? Donna. What's up, Johnny? Hey, Johnny. Johnny got a good live. I just talked to Frank, the car guy, who was supposed to be our guest, everyone, but we had technical difficulties. Our apologies again. And it's not, I want Frank to know, no big deal. He could come on, whatever. I just talked to Frank. I need disappointed. 
but he's also very thankful that you guys tried to get him on tonight. Absolutely. Yeah. And he's welcome on. No big deal. Shit happens a lot. Shit, Shit happens, happens yeah. man. That's right. He'll be on. Yeah. You know, I don't know if they have a Jack Johnson museum. I've got a really good picture at the statue they have there. They have a Jack Johnson statue in Galveston. And they also had one guy after Hurricane Ike, a lot of the trees died. A guy carved Jack Johnson out of a tree, which was amazing, man. So nice. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it nice. was pretty cool. Jack, Jack Johnson, Johnson, man. Yeah. The fucking uh, cross, crossroads. Oh, man. Badass heavyweight, man. Badass heavyweight, man. Uh, I think first African American heavyweight champion ever, and uh, pit bull guy, all around badass. Uh, he got he used to get speeding tickets. He'd go to Vegas a lot. He got he got stopped one time, and the guy I guess they would charge him the fine right there, and it was a hundred and something dollars. He goes here's yeah. three hundred because I'm going to be speeding on the way back. <laughs> Just let me pay you in advance. Yeah, I'll pay in advance. <laughs> Give him the money up front. Right, right, right. Exactly. That's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. Well, so, yeah that's probably that's having fuck you money, huh? Right, yeah, right. And back then, and and uh, just a man, that dude. If you ever had a chance, to read about Jack Johnson, man. Hell of a story, man. Hell of a story. Good yeah, God. yeah. For real. Yeah. Man. Cool. Real fights, man. I'm talking yeah. about back then. You know what I learned the other day? This is nuts, man. How I was many talking fights? To how many fights did Jack Johnson have? Who, man, I don't know his record offhand. You know, about saying, how though, many, like, but probably a whole lot. Yeah. Know, with tons of rounds, not like 10 rounds. They were fighting rounds at least, yeah, right? 20 rounds. There was people fighting that yeah. long back then, man. It's crazy. Well, yeah. And they would fight like freaking, uh, well, think about Sugar Ray Robinson, man. They had how many fights in a freaking year? They would fight almost, uh, sometimes 20 times a year, 30 times. Like, you know, that, that's ridiculous. Like, yep. Yeah. I think it was 18 times he fought one year. Dude, you guys don't even do it three yeah. times or two times anymore. Right, right. So right. you're oh, talking, ooh, the best, made a lot of money. the best ever. I have to disagree with that, though, because Sugar Ray Robinson was like 80-something and oh. Then he got his first loss. Then he went like 140-something and won, like, after that. Like, come on. Yeah, man. yeah, yeah, yeah. And he was fighting all of that's yeah. right. That you kid, know, that so. cat had a lot of personality, though. Yeah. Which one, Sugar Ray? He, Sugar Rob Ray, yeah. Robinson, right? Well, was Gooch gone, Mike. But who are you gone? talking? Yeah, yeah. Sugar Ray Robinson, yeah. Okay, yeah, no, okay. I didn't know if we froze up again. Um, yeah, no, I know he was great. I, he's fantastic. See, oh, I knew something was going to happen. Hey, yeah. Jack Johnson had 95 total fights. That's what I'm saying. And those See? were badass fights back then. 72 those wins. Fights. 72 wins, man. I mean. 95. You know what, Mike, is nowadays everyone's just all worried about their zero on their record and they don't want to lose one. So they're afraid to risk it. It's done. Those were the real days. And, uh, I mean, Jesus Christ, the biggest thing going on right now is a YouTuber fighting Mike Tyson. So, I mean, right. boxing's just, you know, I think it's, I don't right. know. So you, J Jake LaMotta, tough son of a bitch. Hell yeah. Jake rage, LaMotta. The rage and ball. Right. The hell ball. Yeah. No doubt. No doubt, man. <laughs> he was a tough fucking son of a bitch. So I don't know if you, like the whole story with Jack Johnson is crazy, but you know, he was, he was convicted of violating the man act for uh, transporting a white woman past state lines for immoral purposes, which was actually his girlfriend. So it wasn't like he was just hauling her off or nothing, you know, some, some broad, you know what I mean? It wasn't like he just got some broad and was like, Hey, you're going with me. No, it was his girlfriend and she was white. So he was convicted of that. Right. You know, yeah. he was uh, pardoned on that crime by Donald Trump. No shit. Trump, yeah. His family came to the white house and Trump pardoned him on that crime. Cause it was, you know, obviously it's BS, man. I mean, a bunch of, yeah. Yeah. You know, no, ridiculous. I just didn't know that. I didn't know but, that. Yeah, yeah, for real. That in that in that something, man. Yeah, man. I know he, he pardoned. What's his name? Lil Wayne. <laughs> Hell yeah, man. See, because they smoked blunts together or something. But no, straight up. No, Trump did. did Trump did pardon Lil Wayne. I know a lot of people, man. He actually got gun charge, I think, right? Right. I think so, man. I think so. Um, yeah. You know what I learned the other day? This is wild, man. Did you know Wyatt Earp 
was a boxing referee. You're not talking about the historical figure, yes. Wyatt Earp. Right? Yes. Uh, I thought you were talking about our Wyatt Earp. Uh, no, the, man. You, so Wyatt Earp was a boxing referee. Yes, he did that after he retired from you know his main stuff of what he did. Back in those days, man, you had to be a tough son of a bitch to ref in right. those days. The, yeah, the, and and there's a crazy. Yeah, they, they had to respect you too. Like if you're going to be a ref in there or whatever, so like, that shows you right there he garnered respect in those days because that was just wild. They could be like, "Get the fuck out of my face!" Boom. But no, you can't just get anyone. It's not like the athletic commission. No, this is tombstone, motherfucker. Yeah, <laughs> you know. So check this out. Here's a here's how I end up hearing the story. Yeah. Uh, there was a guy, Sharky and. Uh, Bob Fitz, Tom Sharkey and Bob Fitzsimmons were fighting, right? And so, uh, White Earp was the referee. So, they people liked it that White Earp was going to be a referee because they thought, hey, he's, there was a lot of corruption in boxing at that time, even. And so, they were like, this guy's, you know, he's law enforcement, he's going to make sure that, you know, things ain't corrupt. It's, you know, we can bet and know that the fight's going to be on the level, right? It's real. And so he's getting ready to referee this fight and they look in there and notice he's got his pistol on him and he's got this, uh, a white pearl handle with a, uh, uh, what's it called? Not it's nickel plate. I think it was a nickel plate actually on, on this, uh, revolver. And I, it was, I think it was a Colt 45. So they took it from him. They told him you can't have it in the ring. You got it. You're going to have to hand over your pistol. White. And so he was like, and they, they go, yeah, you got to hand over before the fight can start. So he hands over his pistol to this guy. Fight starts, right? It's going on. I don't know what round. Uh, the one dude popped the other guy in the gut, and the guy went down, and Wyatt calls the the uh, fight and said it was a disqualification, I believe, on a low blow. And everybody saw it and said it was, a, it was just a gut shot, you know? And so everybody flipped out. It was damn near a riot. He had to haul ass out of there. Barely made it out, and that's how the, back. he didn't get his gun back, and it's in a museum, and that's how it got there. That, that was the story of it, because they were trying to figure I, out how wide it was. No, I you keep going though, though, because that's a good, uh, that's a good little video story right there with some imagery. What you just said, I like. That oh, okay, story. cool. Yeah, oh, it's nuts, man. It's nuts, and those dudes were those guys, Tom Sharkey and uh, Fitzsimmons. Man, those dudes, were, those were some tough, like serious guys back then. No, absolutely. It's a smart. What'd you say? Yeah. What you doing? What you got there, man? Did you tell or something? No, that's one of those like e-cigarettes. It's like my emergency, but I'm gonna quit oh. vaping. Hold on, though. I gotta see one hour, twenty minutes. I like that though. Um, that twenty was... minutes, and that was uh, what the what, what did you just tell me about again, Mike? Wider. Yeah. <laughs> so Wider. Was... All right, yeah. my... <laughs> Wider, man. He was a referee. Wider boxing. Yeah. Reverend Al, what's up, man? Yeah, man. Muhammad Ali. Greatest Ali, of all we time. Show on Ali. We hey, hey, show Reverend on. Al. Let me tell you, man, we may have to talk about you and your corruption in boxing, man. I don't want to, but uh Re Reverend Al, man, he's he was into some oh, corruption. Sharp, dude. Yeah, I know. Yeah, you man. Know. You gotta you know, you gotta be accountable for that, Rev. Yeah, That's on it. top of that, on top of that, Rev. You wore a wire against the mob, bro. What's up on that, Rev, oh, man? Come yeah. on. Oh. Yeah, he wore a wire, man. He wore a wire. Wore a wire. Wore, wore, he wore one against Don King even, I think, man. Come on. No, man. I thought that it was. <laughs> oh, did he? Let's take I, a look. I think so. I think Let's so. Take man. a look. Look Let's it see. up. Let's find it out. Yeah, that's right, Ghost. Uh, Ghost said Earp used to box as a teenager. That's right, man. Okay, well, let's see what, what Reverend Al has to say. Hey, I don't know what you're talking about, Reverend Al. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> All right, here we go. One second. Yeah. Let's this is going to be brought to you by, oops. This is going to be brought to you by, this video is no longer going to be monitored. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> but uh, what was I going to say? It's time. This is an article from Time. Um, so report Al Sharpton was FBI informant on the mob. The Reverend 
Al Sharpton has served as an outspoken civil rights activist, presidential nominee, television host, and, if a new report is to be believed, a key informant to the FBI. According to a lengthy report by website The Smoking Gun, Sharpton, 69, served as a confidential informant number seven in the 1980s, playing a prominent role collecting information on New York City's most prolific mobsters. Sharpton has denied the claims. In a Tuesday morning press conference, Sharpton said that he wasn't an informant, but rather he was merely cooperating with the FBI. I'm not a rat. I'm, a, I'm not a rat. I'm a cat. <laughs> I want that meme back. <laughs> I'm not a rat. I'm a cat. Sharpton oh. reportedly said, according to Journalist Live, tweeting the event, he continued on the only thing he was ashamed of where those old fat pictures that they've been shown in conjunction with reports. The smoke and gun report based on interviews, court records, and hundreds of pages of documents obtained as the result of requests invoking Freedom of Information Act claims that Sharpton worked for a joint FBI slash NYPD crime task force that was primarily pursuing the notorious Genovese crime family. Sharpton allegedly was sent out to talk to mobsters with a bug briefcase. The website said that information has obtained led to the bugging of two Genovese family social clubs. Their three cars, dozen phone lines approved, by eight different federal judges. So he, during Tuesday's press conference, he admitted working with the FBI for two years and wearing a wire to record conversations because he's not a rat, he's a cat. The conversations were recorded so and I would record them today, he said. We are victims trying to stop something, but he's not oh, a rat. Shit. In a previous interview, Sharpton said, most of what I've looked through does not remind me of anything I was involved in. The site says Sharpton denied its claims in an interview, particularly one stating that he is flipped after a drug deal. The claim is I helped get the mob, not that I was in the mob. I was never told I was an informant. Well, you don't got to be told that you're an informant. You know you're an informant. You're <laughs> wearing a wire, you moron. Well, you know why he lost all that weight. Once they found out he was wearing a wire and all that came out, they cut him off from all the pizza joints. He couldn't get well, calzones, trombolis, nothing. <laughs> couldn't get a cannoli anywhere. Some of it started losing all that weight, and it was over. Go ahead. I don't know, Rev. Yeah. You might have to get going, buddy. <laughs> what are you? Hey, what are you in here? Wearing a wire? What are you wearing a wire? Oh, yeah, what's going on, Rev? Tell us what's I don't know. Up, what the, I don't know what. what, what I, don't, I didn't like that report, so <laughs> you might want to e ease up a bit out there. But see, that's heavy, Rev. <laughs> no, yeah, that's heavy, heavy Rev. <laughs> uh, Johnny Dukes. Holy shit. Oh man, we love you, bro. Well, yeah, he's the best now, Mike. You're the right? best. <laughs> <laughs> we love you, Rev. <laughs> we love you. No, thank he's you, though. He's passing for... down, man. He's passing down. He don't You're want a part of that. Slide, go away, right? Here exactly. No, no, Rev. Nothing will be here, Rev. Nothing will be here. We got you, Rev. You're we take payoffs guy. all day. My guy, <laughs> stand up guy. We got I'm talking to everybody I know. We're good. You're Rev's a good. Up, son of a bitch. Yeah. Oh. I can leave the Rev alone. That's all I'm saying, man. Yeah, leave Shit. the Rev yeah. alone, everyone. You can come back by for cannolis and calzones anytime. And if anyone else would like to donate, the link is in the description. I believe Ro has it. Thank you yeah. so much, Rev. Yeah, that was cool, man. Big that time. I appreciate help. it. That helps us Big out. Time. Thank yeah, you very for much. For oh, real, man. man. That was funny, though. <laughs> That was good, man. Shit. <laughs> what wire? I don't know what you're talking about, Rev. Exactly. No, exactly, man. We have no, I have no idea. idea. I have no idea what you're talking about, man. None. But none. Uh, it didn't even happen. <laughs> never. <laughs> never happened, man. I can leave the Rev alone. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> Shit, I'm about to make new Rev memes. <laughs> oh, fuck. Yeah, right. That was cool. That was cool. Oh, nice. yeah. Thank you, Rev. And thank you to Lee Cole's gay downstairs neighbor. For uh, the donations. Right, we right. Super cool, that. man. Really, really cool. We know nothing <laughs> about nothing. That's right, Ro. That is I right. don't know nothing about nothing, exactly. So what are we doing for this last half hour, Mike? Because we said we're going two hours tonight. We're going two, man. Whatever. Hey, somebody drop a subject, man. We'll we'll freestyle on it. What you got? We're ready, John, man. What's happening? I, I, I will freestyle something. I feel like that money was on its way when Loomis was hacking away on Rev. <laughs> <laughs> Who else can we hack away on? <laughs> Shit. Yeah. You want some of this noodles? <laughs> Drop What's, up, What's happening? What's yeah, um, happening? All right. So just throw, throw, throw a topic out out there. Why don't we talk hey, uh, the movie topics or uh, real story topics or uh, – um, 
I don't know. What do you want me? What, what, I'm trying to think. I, all I can say is the the the, the last the last uh, half hour does not involve the rev. No problem. No, no I don't rev. I don't even know what you just said. My God, don't even know. <laughs> Stand up, gentlemen, right there, though. Stand, Stand up, up, man. Stand up, man. <laughs> You know what I That's mean? Right. Now, Rev, though, that only buys you a week. Next week, you re up. You're back. You re up, bro. That's, you, that's your big. Back. You drop that big off every Saturday night, Rev. Uh, drop that 99.99 big, and uh, we got you. We got you. <laughs> we got you. Thanks, hey, there's a good one. There's oh, a good yeah. One. Well, I wanted to do a whole show on this, and Mike's like, yeah, I didn't know. Uh, and anyway, let's see. I'm too tired. Look, oh, all right, here's one. <laughs> oh, yeah, no, I did do that. Oh, yeah. This is what I wanted to tell you earlier about that, and I didn't get oh, a chance because we were Let's going bring up some bro. Diddy stuff. You ready? Look for this yeah. one. Wes Watson and Diddy. Look for that picture. Oh, don't even give me no, no, don't even give me uh, you don't want that. Wes Watson and Diddy, brand new picture. He just took it with him. Really? Yeah, put, bro. I don't while, he's on, run, while he's while on he's the run. While he's on the run, new picture, brand new. Brand new, bro. And if what's you can't find out, what's Wes doing with them? That's what people were saying. What the hell? I asked. I, in fact, I sent it to Marky Mark. I said, "Hey, Mark, I thought that, uh, I thought that the uh, the uh, solid dudes in Cali weren't supposed to hang out with these, uh, you know, these chomos and weirdos." And Marky Mark goes, "Yeah, that's right. The solid guys. He ain't solid." <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute, though. No. No shit. Yeah, here he is, right I, with. Uh, I ain't making it up, bro. No, I know, but Diddy's on the run at some island, right? Listen, man, it, that says they were in Miami. He easily could have came back to Miami. No, because you know, because they're at, dude. If he came back, I was watching. If he came back to Miami, they he had they they were taking him in immediately, dude. They got his drug that's, deal. That's a current picture. I know. For I'm telling you, that's no, no, picture. I believe you on that. Yeah. But what well, I mean, to... the other thing is, Wes could have been on that island. He could have been on that island, bro. You know? Look at him. That's exactly, that's what I'm thinking it is, because, yeah. Listen, see, he that's might the be same island, thing. oh, man, but he's nervous as hell. You got to be. Man, when they're coming after you like that, holy crap. Who's talking about that one? Look at Wes is wearing a purse. Um, What's that? What? <laughs> Did he spot what? it by famous YouTuber Wes Watson? Oh, definitely man, in a different go, island. Isn't season. he in the Caribbean though? Or some That's shit somewhere out there, man. Yeah. All right, now let me go to. Um, well, let me stop sharing that. And I want to bring up something. <laughs> That's right. The and you know what? Like, how about Diddy's Candy Flavor Factory with the kids? Yeah. Yeah, oh my what's god, what's up on that? Oh man, dude, he was definitely though freaking giving it to Usher, and he was definitely uh had what's his name, Justin Bieber on his knees, like disgusting shit, dude. That people have been right. talking about for so long, and now it's just coming. You know what they do? Why these investigations take so long too of doing that when you're this popular and this rich, all the famous people look at the Epstein list, all that shit. They got to do Cat Williams was right. Cat Williams went on with uh um, the football player's name, uh, Shannon Green, and I was saying, did he, this was like two months ago, dude, and two Sharper. months ago, and now it has like six, like 65 million views because he nailed it. He's like, did he? He'll be going down this, that, and like saying this again at the time, the interviewer was laughing like, yeah, he was right, like spot on. People have been Every saying that, man, bro, people, that, that's crazy because they have, man. People have been saying that they've been they. A lot of people were tripping on him and saying there was something was going to come down about uh, the Tupac situation. Also, man, a lot of people, man, a lot of people said that that uh, somehow he was linked to that. Also, man. So, so look, Mike. So this is uh, okay. Well, this is eleven no hours ago. So here, I, and uh, hold on, no, because I got to say the name of it. Let me get rid of it. No offense, Romo. I got to hide that comment when I, I put a video up, Mike. Oh, my bad. My bad. Yeah, let me pull it up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. Hold bro. on. Present. Share screen. All right. So this right here is from CBS Miami. It's a good channel. Subscribe to them. I'm definitely unsubscribing right after. But yeah, CBS Miami. <laughs> 
Hold on. Oh, shit. I'm just joking. It's April Fool's Day, isn't it? But no. Yeah. No, a he comes on Star Island amidst a sex trafficking investigation. Take a look here. Only in Dade shared this video with us. CBS We're Miami. told he's the one on the left with two other people, all of them on bicycles there. Just last night, Diddy was spotted at Top Golf in Doral with his two twin daughters. Meantime, new details on the most recent lawsuit against him. His former music producer, Rodney Jones, says he was forced to solicit sex workers from the Booby Trap strip club. Jones is asking for $30 million in damages after accusing Diddy of sex trafficking, abuse, forced drug use, and sexual assault. Diddy has denied all of those invest uh, allegations Miami. there. So did they say he was in Miami? Oops, uh, uh, it's a line crime with Jesse Weber. We are breaking down all of the recent allegations against Sean P. Diddy Cohn as he faces now several lawsuits, including a bombshell one dropped by a former producer accusing him of sexual assault and sex trafficking. Welcome to Sidebar, presented by Law & Crime. I'm Jesse Weber. Law & Crime, Jesse Weber, so you've been Sidebar. on social media recently or you've been perusing different news sites, you may have seen a lot about P. Diddy and these sexual misconduct allegations there is a lot there, so we thought let's break it down for you as to what is actually going on. These are going to be the biggest accusations currently against P. Diddy. So P. Diddy, Puff Daddy, Diddy, real name Sean Combs, is of course a well-known music mogul, founder of Bad Boy Records, an influential producer, the founder of a clothing line, a singer, an actor. Now, you might recall that we previously reported on a huge lawsuit filed against Combs by his ex-girlfriend Cassandra Ventura back on November 16, 2023. At the time, Ventura alleged that Combs physically and sexually abused her, including forcing her into sexual slavery and sex trafficking. And some of the more alarming allegations in that federal lawsuit included Combs allegedly raping Ventura in her home after she tried to leave him, savagely beating her, resulting in bruises and burst lips, forcing her to have sex with prostitutes on video while he watched and masturbated, forced her to carry a gun for him and tried to chase down music producer Suge Knight with a gun. Even she accused him of blowing up rapper Kid Cudi's car because he found out that Cuddy was interested in Ventura. Yeah, it was wild. We got Lock crime sidebar with Jesse Weber. Under New York's Adult Survivors Act, that was a law that gave survivors of sexual assault a one-year window to file lawsuits if their claims were otherwise time-barred under the statute of limitations. Now, Ventura had told CBS at the time, quote, after years in silence and darkness, I am finally ready to tell my story and to speak up on behalf of myself and for the benefit of other women who face violence and abuse in their relationships. With the expiration of New York's Adult Survivors Act fast approaching, it became clear that this was an opportunity to speak up about the trauma I have experienced and that I will be recovering from for the rest of my life. Now, just one day after filing this lawsuit in New York federal court, Combs and Ventura agreed to a settlement. Now, as with most settlements, it was kind of real quick, though, Mike. Wait, real quick. Um, so they show him there walking all the way in the left, and like he's all like this and that, though. And like, because I guess where he's at, there's no, no, there's no charges, but there's no um deportation. Where did they say he was at? Did they? I thought they said he was in Miami that day, but he's still on the island where he's at. He's I think he was island. in Antigua. Okay, so yeah, so then that's where he's at. And he already sold like a bunch of his bad boy royalties. They found in the bank already sold right before he went. Someone definitely tipped him off beforehand and he got tipped yeah. off and he went, I mean, look how much money the guy has and all the people he knows. So someone tipped him. He got out of here. They caught his eye. Did you see, uh, you see this? He left, he uh, left his sons too, didn't he? Or his kids or something? There's two still, well, there was two Scumbag. kids still there, but he has two daughters, I think, though, with them. But two of his sons were in the house, they got taken out. And then um, wait one second. D I D D Diddy. One second. This should this should be it. Let's see. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right here. Watch. So let me go to Bada Bing. Bada bing, bada boom, bada bang, bam, bam. And then I go boom. And then I go back up to, oops, sorry, guys. Hold on. I'm trying to get quicker with this, Mike, with the share and stuff. So yeah, now, is, did, so Diddy wanted this guy to come, his drug mule. Uh, dude, how many he has? Like, do you see his pink cocaine? 
What a yeah. scumbag, dude. Oh, the pink fucking cocaine that he has to they were showing and fucking like Diddy's candy fucking he's a fucking weird fuck. I would love to in a minute fucking alone with him in a fucking room. I'd fucking love to tear his face off. But listen, so this is but this is his drug meal, Mike, trying to escape to get to Diddy's Island. This was earlier today. And we start off this noon with the very latest on the on Diddy after his homes were raided by federal agents in Los Angeles oh, as well as Star Island. What is this? Local 10 News. Local 10 News, guys. Subscribe. They're great people. Local 10 News. Bastard. After a member of his entourage was arrested ah. here in South Florida. Local 10 News reporter Annalise Garcia is live in Miami Beach for the details. Annalise. Hey, Chrissy, Syra. So that's not all. Some new documents were released today in a civil suit that uh, were amended this morning and it involves some serious allegations including sex trafficking drugs guns not only against diddy but against his son that alleged mule that you were just talking about and another superstar cuba gooding jr but again the new piece to this puzzle here visually is that body camera video let's take you over to that video so you can see for yourself now this is brendan paul he was arrested for possession of cocaine and marijuana gummies. And this is unrelated to that larger investigation by the feds. But Paul is named one of several in several civil lawsuits filed against Diddy as a drug mule working for the music mogul. So this arrest that you're seeing but is the, separate from all of that. That's so where Diddy's plane's at. He was trying to get to the island. And cocaine. So now Damn. over to Diddy's home, still no sight of him all morning long. Thursday morning, a similar scene outside of Sean Diddy Combs' home as days prior. A black SUV blocking the driveway with umbrellas open to conceal the home. Our cameras rolling as Diddy's private jet is taxied away at Opalacas Airport, yet still no sign of the superstar days after federal agents raided both his L.A. and Miami homes. The attention comes after both East and West Coast homes of 54-year-old were raided by federal agents simultaneously. The New York native, part of a sex trafficking investigation headed by NYC federal prosecutors. This comes after a series of civil lawsuits from former girlfriends and a music producer Local that worked for music mogul. In a late February civil suit filed 73 pages alleging misconduct by the star and associates of underage sex trafficking, drug-fueled sex abuse, intimidation, and violence. So we've learned that those warrants have not been... So then, Mike, my question to you is this. You've seen that raid, right? You've seen all the authorities yeah. and all... all they do and then they also did his estate and this, so they did it in miami and california correct Both they did houses. yeah in california and in miami right in miami so my point yeah. is you do not come with search warrants and have let alone one judge sign off on a search warrant but you have a judge then from los angeles or from california simultaneously and so you have two judges signing off on these search warrants they have to have something strong on this guy Right, right, right. It's well, yeah, it's more than that. Like, did you see some of the did you see some of the comments, man? I mean, and these make sense, uh what everybody was saying. And and well, yeah, he shot that one girl in the face. They say he shot fucking uh what's his name in the stomach. That did he allegedly behind a few murders? Honeycombs love the booty. He's gonna have a <laughs> lot more problems inside. I, I look at Al. Yeah, Al, you can have whatever you want, buddy. I'll get you orange <laughs> pink. We'll hook you up. <laughs> yeah, I got you, Al. Liberace oh, didn't shit. have AIDS. It was the guy behind him. <laughs> Johnny, Jesus Christ. Oh, Jesus oh, Christ. Man. Homeland security and pink cocaine is the gayest thing I've ever heard. <laughs> well, <laughs> that's from bro. But uh, okay. I hear you. <laughs> this does not uh, uh, reflect the views of. This man, the, there's uh, something out there though, Never. He's acting real weird, and he was on a radio station. Hold on a second. I want to see if I can find it. And this is like what they use this. I think he was being all weird with Meek Mill. Um, what on? <laughs> Look at, dude, you just hit Diddy and it's like Diddy acting sus. <laughs> Diddy <laughs> acting gay on Drink Champs footage. Wait, hold oh, on. Man. Oh, yeah. Here it is. Hold on. 
Oh, good. It's not even long. Look at the name of this is 730730 Radio is the name of the channel. Mike, watch this shit. 73, and just, you know, for real, watch it. And um, tell me when he tell pops me, you know, like, uh, right here, guys. So this is 730 Radio channel, and this is called Diddy Acting Suspect on Drink Champs Footage. Check it out. I like when you like this, Daddy. Yeah, where you put my bag? Daddy, I like when you're oh, right scrambling right and scraping for no, 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 shit. No, 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 no. I, I like shit. that. You know, I'll be practicing. I got yeah. <laughs> That's for me. Yeah, I love this drink. Where you put my bag? I like when you like this, Daddy. Yeah, yeah, where you put my bag? Daddy, I like when you when you scrambling and scraping when you when you scrambling and scraping for shit. No, no, no. Make it work. Just blow it out. Your no, birthday no. every day. Every day is a birthday on Drink okay. Champs. God damn it! I'm in. Right. Man, Drink Champs is legit too, though. You know, for real. I bet they were like tripping. Like a thing. Ice yeah. T's been on there. Oh, there's been some good people. I'm talking about for your birthday. Huh? Why won't you party with me for your birthday, man? Well, I, I, we we party for my birthday before. You came to my party. You know? No, but me and you ain't never really party. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Eyes, 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 <laughs> eyes, brother. Oh, eyes, eyes, eyes. Uh, Eyes, eyes. Oh, I understand. I understand. Oh, I understand. Oh, you know what I'm saying? I, 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 if, yo, okay. So check this out. It's <laughs> me, Tyrese. Ray J and F. Gary Gray. You know, I'm a type of nigga. I like variety, man. I mm -hmm. like people that's unpredictable. Uh -huh. I, you know what I'm saying? I like different personalities. So I was like, I never knew they would become what they are today. <laughs> but you yeah. know what I'm saying? <laughs> but like, you know, not, that sounded like the type of night I want to have in Vegas. You right. know what I'm saying? Okay. So <laughs> <laughs> So Tyrese kept yeah, on talking. This is a fight. This is a Floyd fight, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And mm -hmm. Tyrese keep on talking about like how you got to get back for church. And we just like, yo, the night ain't start. You got to get back for church. We in motherfucking <laughs> Vegas, nigga. But, like you can go to church next week. You know what I'm saying? Sending, sending your thing. You know what I'm saying? And number we in Vegas. Don't be bringing God <laughs> into the city. Don't church. bring in God, God into this situation. You know what I'm saying? Every Gary Gray is like, nigga, shut the fuck up. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> then you got um, Ray J. <laughs> So Ray J is like just really like feeling like Ray J right now, you know what I'm saying? He tried to ting with the Hey yo, don't do that. Yeah, that's what I said. That's why I said. No, I'm pick it up. Who's talking? 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 Who's no, 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 bro. Get killing, bro. bro, 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 bro. No, no. I'm telling a story, bro. So bro, 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 we are intoxicated. Listen, 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 listen. Oh, bro, oh, bro, 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 we help me build that beautiful, yeah, nice bro, guy, Rastafari brand of yours. I see you, man. I'm walking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Happy birthday to you. Woo! Happy birthday to you. Woo! Happy birthday. It's fabulous. The only nigga that got the name that I want. Happy birthday. Happy okay. birthday to you. Thank you, my brother. Um, yeah. Let's take a shot for that, boy. Dude, what a fucking weirdo. But, he, uh, dude, here's what's killing me, though. So, you know how people talk about Illuminati's and shit like that? Yeah. So, yeah. like, there really is, though, people, like, who do these sex crime things, obviously, like Harvey Weinstein, and he had girls, like, you know, the only way that they could get into the movies is by fucking them. So, what you got to understand is that I heard, dude, that, you know, that there's things going on where even parents are involved, where to the point where if a kid wants to get famous 15 or 16, like, they go through a certain thing, like, like all that shit, and they don't really care. Is, it's the price of, of like what they pay to go through these sex like acts to get to another level, and that's what his whole fucking um pinky fucking pinky factory, where what was it? Diddy Flavor Factory, whatever the fuck it was called, where that's what he was doing with very young Justin Bieber, Usher. Uh, you know, I mean, I heard that. Uh, I don't know. I just heard some things about that, but we'll see what's going to come to fruition. But I'm saying, though, two judges don't sign off on warrants if they don't have something. No, that's serious shit, man, especially against a guy with that kind of money because they know he's got power, too, and he can bring lawsuits back and everything else 
exactly. if, it ain't, if it ain't square. So you know it is. It has to be judges. You Miami. know, speaking of that, bro, that reminds me of like Aliyah, man. That used to drive. It still to this day just blows my mind what R. Kelly was able to do with that girl, man. You know, as far as you oh. know, marry her and all that stuff, and just and get away with it completely for a while, and now he's locked up. Dude, they know, had a video of him pissing on a minor for years yeah. and like didn't do anything. Yeah. Like, what is the fuck, man? Yeah. Like, yeah. Because I guess the money they have, or the, I don't know, the lawyers that can keep them out with deals, no one should get a deal when it comes to fucking shit like that. Not on that, man. But well, shit, look at him now. He, Underage sexual kid. type stuff. Like, no, like there should be zero tolerance, no deal policy. This is where you're fucking going. Right, right. They should do it old school style though, too. Like we're gonna fucking what do they call those things? The French Cayenne though, where where it comes down and cuts your head off though. But yeah, yeah, fucking, yeah. Like a guillotine, just, guillotine, just slice your cock, cock and balls right off. Exactly. Um, Reverend Diddy is not only guilty; he is a dirty person that will wind up killing himself, like Epstein. Why? Because he's a scumbag. Other, Hopefully, so. people know that are that are. Um, <laughs> Uh, Cat Williams, though, called it literally like a month ago, too. Like when he was saying it, and, like people would all think Cat Williams is being crazy, but no, he made right. a lot of good points. But that's how it is, man. Like to get to like those levels, like in certain businesses, like look at Weinstein. I mean, oh, yeah, you want to be in a movie? Fuck me. Like, you know, and he's just a fucking disgusting fucking pig. But uh, oh, yeah, all of them. Man, oh, I man. Hate that. I, I, man, I, I, uh, Oh man, I heard some weird, crazy man. stuff when I was at, at the boxing gym. I had this one guy, man. He was a he was a good friend of mine. He didn't have anything to do with boxing, and he was a manager of a rapper here. And this dude used to play for Kansas City a long time ago, the Chiefs. And he was telling me, man, back in the day, guys like Arnold. When Arnold first got here, these weirdos would pay Arnold big money to take like nude photos. And this is like, I mean, you can look it up. There's stuff like that. But all kind of other weird. Yeah, weird but that's not stuff. even though. But Mike, but that's adult stuff though. Still, that's just that no. But I'm just saying. But mind. but I'm talking about even weirder than that. It got weirder than that. But imagine what yeah. they do to other people is what I'm saying. Well, that's <laughs> yeah. But and these kids though, these kids yeah. though that are trying to be the next right. big pop star. And Diddy was like like uh, like kind of like the yeah he was like the gatekeeper. And Suge right. Knight from prisons, even like they're gonna catch him eventually. Like everyone thinks right. we're just lying and shit. And you got to realize he's a billionaire, B with a B. Right. So right. the people he's getting tipped off constantly. Imagine a lawyer he has on retainer, the lawyers I should say that he has on retainer. I mean, he's a company within himself that's gigantic. Yeah. That's yeah. you know as big as Walmart. So right. it's just, uh, yeah. And that's so what I'm saying. Like, For them to have signed off on those warrants, you know it's got to be some serious. But they problem. locked up though, a lot of his money. They took his assets. They you saw him wheel Good. away though the jet. You're telling me though he didn't have he's got fucking he took cash out fucking David David sure. already got it. He yeah. sold royalties already from Bab. Let me ask you this, Mike. If you're completely innocent of the crime, why are you going around selling your royalties and all that? And then boom, you go out to the island on the run. That's right. a bad look. So you better just yeah. stay the fuck out there. Because right. that's just like OJ. OJ was not guilty, but remember when OJ was in the Bronco? I'm going to kill myself. Like, all right, all right, Juice. Like, you know, you just gave it away, but he still got off. I'm just saying it's almost kind of like that act. Like, listen, if I never did any of this and I was like convicted of this, I'd be that guy walking towards the news camera, like, what the fuck is going on? Like, I would be saying, like, this isn't this and that. Yeah. Hi, no, no, I know most people would, man. Most he's hiding people. when he's out there because there's no extradition, not deportation. There's no extradition. That's what I meant right. from yeah. where he's at to back over here. And he has enough finances easily to live off of over there. And um, I got a good idea, good. man. Send him to Haiti and let Haiti barbecue, barbecue take care of him, man. Yeah. Send him to Haiti. Well, that, Do you know who that is, man? Have you been keeping up with that? I thought you meant send him to Haiti, like Haiti, Haiti. Haiti, the country. Yeah. Yeah, and and do you know who the dude barbecue is there? No, he's the head of the gangs there. They called him barbecue because he, I guess, he was burning people or some shit. He's oh, so he's, he does. He burns them oh, all. Oh, yeah, he took over the country. This dude, he, he, damn, he's I a gangly. Back Look up that shit. Pull that up, Sorry. man. <laughs> no lie. Oh man, it's Jeez. nuts, bro. It's nuts. Yeah, man. It's a, that poor country. What's his name again? Barbecue. Barbecue. Just barbecue, bro. I made a laugh for Jesus. How do you spell Haiti oh, again? Straight up. How do you spell uh, it? H A H A T T I, maybe. 
I don't know, bro. Now I'm sitting there making myself look like an idiot. No, 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 no I wasn't even close. Um, H A I T. <laughs> yeah, I got it. Man, Mike, that wasn't too smart. But now that was horrible. Part. Boy, it's gonna be memes and fucking everything, bro. Look at this idiot. Oh, uh, day with barbecue. Here we go. This guy, are you kidding me, Mike? Barbecue. Man, I got it. Are you kidding me? Hey, it's bullshit. I'm telling here you. Here we man. go. Here we go, folks. Let's meet this guy. This gangster called Barbecue. What is this? What is the uh, what's it called? He took over what's the, the fucking country, the whole country, bro. <laughs> what's the right. what's the website? I got it. I got it. Okay, guys, right now we're gonna watch something from WRAL. Give them a subscribe. That's WRAL. Great channel. And the video we're gonna watch is Haiti Latest, a day with barbecue. Head of one of Haiti's most powerful gangs. Let's be barbecue. He's not responsible for all the violence sweeping across Haiti's capital, but be under no doubt, he's at the center of it. His fighters are never far away. Is this now all your territory? Because it, it was an open road when I was last here. <laughs> this guy's just walking around with him. Jimmy Cherizia, universally <laughs> referred to here as is the head of one of the most yeah. powerful gangs in Port-au-Prince. But he's also the head of a gang consortium that's brought Haiti to its knees. He took us through the roadblocks of buses they've put in place to stop police raids on his territory. That territory now extends over one of the city's main roads, an economic highway he controls in its You're entirety. watching WRAL. Barbecue sees himself as a revolutionary for the people, and he rails against corrupt politicians and oligarchs. He dismisses all the efforts underway here to form a transitional council that will govern Haiti. But for the first time, he's told Sky News he would consider a ceasefire and talks if his people are represented. This is significant. No, 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 we're not dialogue. No, we're dialogue. We're always going to be dialogue. Mais groupe moun sa yo ki la classe politique sa ki la yo pa la pou dialogue raison parce que yo pa pou Haiti nan cœur ou même j'ai avec nous classe politique ki la y a fait une exclusion côté que y a dit bandi nèg azam baladan mais son façon pou yo ka renouveler système nan Jean Lia parce que système nan rive nan bout li et et quand ki gen ant moun riche a moun pauvre en Haiti en li trop dans le monde entier gen ka ant moun riche a moun pauvre mais Jean le fait en Haiti a li indécent on nous prêt toute solution depuis ces haïtiens qui sont à blanc nous même nous prêt pour nous chita parler avec tout le monde parce que ça qui passe dans pays là nous pas fier inside his territory despite the poverty life is relatively peaceful and organized unlike in much of port-au-prince queues for food barbecue gets brought in are orderly usually it's chaos but here people wait knowing that there are enough supplies for the whole community this is a source of barbecue strength. To the outside world, he may be a gangster, but here he's a sort of Robin Hood. Hey, hey, man, he's feeding oh people. God, yeah. Barbecue's gangland territory. And I have yeah, to this say, this guy knows. very different. To <laughs> this guy, man. Hey, 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 that guy. Hey, chill, that guy. Get relaxed. the wild turkey. Dude, his, <laughs> envelope, his envelope had to be five. His envelope had to be five hundred. Get from this is that people feel safe Bro, they, inside. They gave that guy. A half the gallon of cheap vodka is outside the barricade, <laughs> which is over there. Here, he's been drinking the screwdrivers all like morning, bro. Town, <laughs> Holy shit. This is walking the road barbecue, barbecue now controls is all but deserted. The signs of battle, the burnt out cars, and the deserted buildings are the visual signs Next of uprooted families who have been, been forced here. to flee in their tens exactly, of thousands. Man. He says he's trying to rein the more violent gangs in. He says they need to change their ways or risk losing this revolution. But is it a revolution or just gangland violence? It's almost impossible to know. Damn. Stuart Ramsey, Sky News, Port-au-Prince. Port yeah, Prince. Mike, that's what I do a lot of times. Like whenever I find myself bitching about something, I just think like, could you imagine like, oh yeah. See those poor yeah. kids and stuff, bro? Dude, barbecue yeah, don't just... fuck around though. Barbecue no. don't fuck around. No, he Jesus took over. Christ. He told the last president he had to leave. Period. Boom. Done. Reverend Al Sharpton said that Haiti has barbecue and we have Tony Pizza. <laughs> <laughs> and Ram and Ramonde. <laughs> oh shit. You can't put that uh, in. Oh man.
Jeez, man. Yeah, man. He ran off the last president, bro. He told him to get his ass out of there, man. And he made he left, man. Shit. Well, he's feeding everyone. Doesn't look like he's killing his people. He's just fucking no. killing any government official who comes near him. He said it. Hey, he said he'll start a ceasefire if the government will come to the table and allow his gang to be part I of thought, the though, he likes people on fire. That's what they said he got the name from. Listen, man, I'm just going on oh, what I read right. or heard. Yeah, yeah. Straight up. Yep, straight up. Let's see. I'm reading. Okay. Maria. Look at that. Two hours right there we just hit. Boom. I don't know what happened to Gucci. I hope everything's all right. With Gooch, Gooch, oh, he sent me a text afterwards, man. I'm sorry. Did, did his internet messed up and he was, uh, it kicked him off. We were in the middle of talking to him and saying that. So that he said, we'll just reschedule to have uh, Frank back home. So yeah, it was tonight was just the past time. Even like just ours work. and even like Gucci's, uh, like our connections yeah. are off tonight, though. Just hey, yeah. listen to two guys. We're going to start though, doing our weekend shows a little earlier, like around 8 p.m. Eastern. Um, going forward a little bit earlier because some people, um, go, uh, yeah, that, that, they're going to be at eight or five, I think. Uh, but we'll stay tuned for that. And um, Mike, when you go away? Uh, next week, man, about early next week. Early next week, bro. So, so like next Saturday, no, I'm saying that you're going to be gone. Oh, I'll be gone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah that's I'll what I'm gone. saying. That's what I'm saying. So, yeah, guys, stay tuned for tomorrow night, though. Are you coming on tomorrow night? Yeah, I'll come on. Oh, it's Easter, though, so we'll try Oh, that's right, shit. It is Easter, so everybody may not even want to watch Yeah, it. you know, it hit or miss. We'll go by the day if it's boring. We'll, we'll feel the day out, but yeah. if not, then possibly Monday, then um, right. it right. is Easter. I don't know. No, I'm not saying that the Christians are going to come and crucify me. Uh, what I'm saying, though, is it's not like it's not Christmas, though. It's not like in uh, – Easter's you know, more important, bro. Easter's more important. That's okay. I'm not. I'm not. Listen, bro. I'm not saying. No, I'm saying. No, no, you. Wait, you think Easter's a bigger holiday than Christmas? Uh, it should be, probably, man. No, it should be. Uh, we're not talking about should yeah. be. We're asking about the facts and the statistics and the numbers. You think that Easter's? Oh, more well, I mean, by Christmas numbers and stuff, no dude, way, man. No Easter, was... like, dude, the Easter season compared to the Christmas season, right? Like, because no, people ain't getting a no bunch of gifts and stuff. Because people ain't getting gifts. That's why. It, it, that's why people aren't all pumped. But but holy wise, no, this but the season of, of it, yeah, you think oh, no, man. Yeah, if, holy talking about wise, commercialism, yeah. if you're going that's out what I mean. across that's the stations it. weeping, stood yeah. the mournful mother weeping. I know, I know. Look at my book. Yeah, look yeah. fuck around. Yeah. Okay, oh, man. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Jeez. Ah. Anyway, hey, that was every Thursday, by the way. Stations at nice. the cross will play games. How did stations every Thursday, bro? For real? That's how it rolls, yeah. Man, we didn't do that. We didn't That's do how that. It rolls. Did, hey, did y'all have gambling at, at bazaars? Yeah, remember I told you the, the guys at my dad's. Right, 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 right. You did. That's what I just want to make sure. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah. So you, did yeah. they sell beer and stuff? Yeah. See, oh, I yeah. love it. Man. Okay, so so my uh at the time absolutely so, what it been a bizarre, <laughs> was a bizarre. <laughs> listen, man. So it was a it was a Baptist cat. I'm not even gonna say who it was or nothing, but he he uh came to the to the bazaar with my family. I get he was older than me. I did and so he came and he walked around and looked and he told my dad, he's like, he's like, they're in there gambling, man. The priest is doing blackjack in that in that classroom. And they was like, they're selling beer over here. Like, yeah, it's the bazaar. That's what we're doing, man. That's the way we roll. Yeah. So that's that's a, yeah. uh, the best time of the year. Yeah, water is a crime. No, listen, I wasn't talking about the actual holy part and the significance of the day. I was saying with people and the season and the holidays, I meant. I understand. The right, 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 right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, no, I that's understand. what I meant. I didn't know. Gotcha. But, yeah, but uh, what I'm saying, though, is uh, ch yeah, church bazaars were great. Or the firearm fair, gambling, booze, and rides right up the hill on top of East End where I went to school. Holy Savior, it was fun. That's the one I was telling you about, Mike. It was incredible. Right. Remember when the one like yeah, and the other guy asked me to go to yeah, and then he got fucked up. But what I'm saying though is <laughs> bad, be down. <laughs> bad, real bad. But oh, what I'm saying, I mean, dude, like that's so weird. Like you know, now I look back, I was so young, I didn't know. He's like, will you show me where it's at? And then once they heard, once my father, and then the people heard that. The baseball coach, 
done. I'm done. Yeah, I bet. But even the cops at that time pulled up. They saw. They told him what happened. They're like, no problem. Yeah, like we assaulted this guy very bad because he was trying to kidnap my fucking son, and we kicked his yeah. head in. And the officer's yeah. like, thank you for the report. Like that's Lucky, how it used that's to all be. that happened, bro. <laughs> Lucky, Lucky that's you have to all bite that the curb, happened. motherfucker. Bite the curb. I'm <laughs> telling you, man. I'm telling you. Shit. Guns What's up, to die. Oh. Well, what is up, my man? Great seeing you here, brother. man. Sadman. Great seeing gun smoke in the house as always. Lee's gay downstairs. Happy Easter, man. Thank you for the donation. Reverend Al Sharpton, thank you very much. Happy Easter much too to everyone. Vinny Bubat in the house. Happy Easter to herbs. Vinny. There he is. There he What's is. Happy I was Vinny. Vinny Bubat before I because I saw him in a comment somewhere else. Great to Hell see yeah. him, Vinny. And everyone who's joined and stuff, me and Mike are going to get something going though with on the side though. But you could, I think it's was it four ninety nine for extra clips and stuff like that. That uh, and we're going to be doing like private, not private, but once we get enough members, we're going to do like member lives and like member talks. And we got some stuff brewing up, but we're going to get through Easter and then, um, you know, and then after that, yeah. So subscribe, like, and uh, yeah. Join, yeah. become a member, become a member, and um, I'll be showing some clips too of uh, um, some behind the scenes footage though of uh, documentary or making though with some interviews with Joe Buffalino and other stuff. So let us hit this real quick. So once though we get though enough, I think Mike, we have like I think we got three though, but we got three members. But I right. uh, three people, you know, see it, bro. Yeah, do you know what I mean? Because that just helps us out. Johnny the Rebel Bronx. What's up, New York Johnny? Thanks for being here, guys. Please give this video a like and get to move. And even though we couldn't have our guest on tonight, technical difficulties, Frankie, do not sweat it at all. We got your back. The door is open for you at any yeah. time. Brenda, thank you for helping us out with Frankie. Gucci, love you to death, my man. It's technical difficulties. It happens. That's and right, um man. Everyone who came on tonight, we really do appreciate you. Thanks for the donations. Become a member of the channel. And uh, that's pretty much all I got. You got anything else for him, Mike? Everybody have a happy Easter, man. And thank Yeah, you definitely have a happy Easter for you and yours. Be safe out there. And um, I got one more, man. It. One more Smash thing, bro. that like button, too. Hit that like. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, man. Sorry, smoke. <laughs> I know, man. <laughs> Damn. What are you doing, Mike? I hit it. Oh. I'm trying to click it, bro. You're clicking it over here. <laughs> you click it. No, you know what I was gonna say, man. Everybody, please keep uh, Rob's mom in your prayers, man. She she uh, had to go to the hospital and was having some medical stuff. You know, that was pretty serious. So do that, man. He'll be happy to have any prayers that uh, he can for. Without yeah, definitely, guys. And if you guys, you know, for Rob's mom, I saw that. And I just want to thank everyone, too, who's been praying, though, for my pops as well. And Rob's mom, anyone who's sick out there. Right. Yeah. I used to, like, hear that shit out so-and-so, but until it really happens to you, like, it's just, you know, it's like, holy fuck, it happens, and it's just tough. And I heard that with Rob um, on his update thing. Right, so, right, right. I'll be, yeah, man. Uh, I'll because and I obviously actually, everybody I'm not afraid to admit it, dude. I'm, dude, I actually got on my knees, dude, like the other day and fucking prayed to fucking God. That That's I the way like, to do it. I know, I know, but I told him to take me instead of my fucking father. <laughs> That's what I really yeah. did do, though. Yeah. But, no, uh, man. Because I have no kids, and it's like I just feel more like a nuisance than fucking. So I'm like, take Get me. I'd rather here, him like, to take me. I Get out of here. T Get Thunder. Here. Dude, I do it in three seconds. Are you kidding Stop. me? Stop. T man, Thunder man. Promotions. What's up? Yeah, what's up? What's thanks, up? Thanks for being here. Subscribe up. And I'll and obviously still and forever, man. Prayers for Loomis's pops, man. Always too, man. You know, obviously, obviously, without saying. So. No, no, I appreciate it, man. Like how you were like, oh, I don't know how you're doing this now, but like I tell everyone out there, these shows are great, dude, because they could get my mind like a little. It's just great having. It's like an extended family. I love all you guys who watch, and I. Yeah. Uh, is all help me out though big time and uh sure. love yous and um yeah you know life just gets tough sometimes man and, it is know, bro you know it it's, is, a, man. it's a circle of life it's tough 
Very tough. But happy Easter though to everyone. Subscribe up. We'll be back on see tomorrow because of Easter. Not sure. Who knows if we'll be we'll be on over on. You know us. But next Saturday, I know Mike's gonna be out of town though, but I'll be having someone on though uh next Saturday at the same awesome. time. No, it's gonna be at eight o'clock, possibly seven. We'll see what happens with that. I'm your host, Loomis. There's the host OG Mike D. And we will see well, you guys soon. Mike, aren't you? So you're gone now, Mike. When's your next show you're going to be doing with us? If it may be Monday, man, if we do something, we'll see. No, and then I'm I'll saying, be. No, I'm saying for like the normal after Saturday that, nights. In, end of uh, April, bro. After I'll be back on the 23rd. So that Saturday after that. Okay. So the next three, three Saturdays, weeks. it's just going to be me. Let's see if I could do it. I don't know. You could, uh, <laughs> did it for all those years, bro. Get out of here, man. No. I say, Who knows? Just, hey, man, if I get somewhere that's got good service, I may pop on and do a show, man. You never know. You yeah, never but know. I mean, I, I never even know. I never even took a few weeks off ever in my life or whatever, so I might just wait for you anyway just to come right. back. Hard right. to find wire trucks in the roll slab. Christ has risen. Amen. Christ has died. Wait, no, it goes Christ. Christ will come. No. Christ has died. Christ is risen. Christ will come again. What was the other song? Love, 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 love. Christians is, is your love. Love your neighbor as yourself as God loves all. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I don't even know. No, I went to Catholic school. Be Petroni. Happy Easter to you. Luann, happy Easter. Ghost, happy Easter. I know how much Easter means to you, ghost. Mike, you're going on a run. Hook me up with the kilo. <laughs> <laughs> Forever the now. Rev. The Rev. Forever now. I got to make it back first, bro. <laughs> Shit. Oh. OG going to throw some Elios on top of the lasagna. <laughs> did I miss a video like that? Did you make a video with Elios and lasagna? Know, like did I? Oh, I don't know. I'm just saying that I missed that. Guys, you're amazing. We love you all. Thanks for tuning in. We apologize again, though, about uh, the technical difficulties with the guest. But we'll make it up to you. And thank you so much. With that, we will see you guys. I'm not sure, but we'll be throwing shorts up and little stuff here and there. But we'll be back when we're back. And subscribe up. Cool. Peace. All right, guys. Good night and ladies and have a happy easter and be safe and happy easter to you and yours good night now subscribe <laughs>